five minutes until the match we are begins. about to begin. For photosensitive photo viewers, please note please that this performance, performance includes, includes bright and bright flashing, and flashing effects. effects. Depending, Depending on who is playing, playing and how they, how play, they play, the play the game, there may there be may swearing, be swearing and, top and topics that are not family friendly. The stage is set. Starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Hi everyone, my name is Milton. And my name is Patrick, and welcome to the second of three Culture Capital online matches happening this fall. So what is Culture Capital? Culture Capital is a trading card game and performance project about the Canadian performing arts economy, including dance, theater, live art, and sometimes opera. We go to specific regions of Canada and create region-specific versions of the game. So for each regional version of the game, we combine public data about which companies and artists are receiving money from the Canadian government to make their art with perspectives of artists in that region about how value is being produced and determined in their context. Tonight's game pits two versions of culture capital against each other, the Edmonton Calgary version and the premiere of the Toronto version. So this project was started when the arts economy wasn't working particularly well for some of its members. And since we are also wondering what a return to normal might look like, well, we are here to remind you. So if you want to learn more about the game and the project, go to culturecapital.cards. There you can also request a deck of your own. We're still building versions of the game for across Canada, so keep in contact, reach out, and look out for future tournaments in your area post-vaccine. But that's not why you're here. You want to know uh, who we are going to e-transfer $500 Canadian of sweet art money to at the end of this game. So let's begin. Welcome to Culture Capital, the trading card game. A game where the line between culture and capital has disappeared. Today's match is presented in partnership with HowlRound Theatre Commons. Funding for the cash prize has been generously provided by Canada Council for the Arts and BC Arts Council. Tonight's match. Jenna Rogers vs Maddie Batista. Alberta vs Ontario. Players. Please contribute grant funding to the government pool and shuffle your decks in preparation for the match. Jenna and Maddie, do you have any words you'd like to exchange before the match? Have a good game. Good luck. Have fun, Jenna. You too. Cool. Each player begins with 20 communities. This will be a match to zero and the winner will receive $500 of sweet art money. To our spectators, place your bets now and feel free to cheer and heckle on your platform of choice. The match is about to begin. Break a leg. Have a good show. Match start. Okay, so welcome. Can both of you please unmute your microphones because uh, there is no time for uh, going on and off. Uh, we are going to start the game here. And as you both know, the tradition for starting a game of Culture Capital is by determining who has paid the most taxes in the previous year. However, because we are still living in the uh, COVID times, we're gonna switch that up a little bit like we did last time. And it's the person who has collected the most CERB from the Canadian government that will be going first tonight. 
Who of you two has collected the most Serb? How many Serbs have you You've got? Three, three Serbs, three, Maddie? Three of them, yes. Jenna, one Serb. Three to one, which means that Maddie, you are going to go first. And uh, both players have your decks on hand and begin by bringing seven cards from the deck into your hand now. All right, now to start us off, as you know, there is a mulligan rule in case you do not have companies in your hand. Would either of you like to use the mulligan rule? Nope. Nope. Okay, then it is your concept phase, Maddie. Away you go. Thank you. Um, I begin my concept phase. I play my companies. The first of which, night swimming. Night swimming requires uh, me to roll three when I'm in my application phase. And I'm also going to play the Amy Project. Okay. Both really awesome companies I had a chance to work with. And the Amy Project requires that I roll one. Enter application phase. I'm rolling for night swimming. And I need okay. a one to three. Got a one. Okay, so you get your money. I roll for the Indie Project. One out of six chances. I have rolled a six. No dice for the Indie Project, unfortunately. But in order to keep that grant funding that you have for night swimming, you need to put a project into development at the least. Do you have a project that you can play? I do have a project that I could play. Okay, what are you gonna do? I play BIPOC Spock. What is BIPOC okay. Spock? BIPOC Spock is an emotionally restrained debate on the representations of race in sci-fi. Cool. Uh, does it match any of the keywords that Night Swimming has? It does. Night Swimming is multicultural and BIPOC Spock is multicultural and tech. Cool. So what is it in development right now? Uh, it is worth two points in development. Okay. And, is that all you um, want to do? A bonus of plus two because it matches Night Swimming, so it's worth four points. Okay, so is that all you want to do for your production phase? Because I don't think you can open it right now. Yes, that's all that I want so to do. You're moving the into strategic phase. planning. Thank you. Um, let's see. I'm going to play. Um, I'm going to play Indigenous li Liaison and give okay. myself three community points. Uh, I hired an indigenous liaison to help me connect with indigenous communities in the area. 20, 20, 23. Very good. Cool. And that goes to your graveyard after being played. And that is, unless you're going to do anything else in your strategic planning phase, it's then over to Jenna for her first concept phase. Yeah, I end my phases. Cool. Jenna, it's you. Great. So I can discard. Yes, you can. Great. I am almost fast enough. Uh, I'm just going to discard one. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I'm going to just discard. Uh, I'm going to discard one into the graveyard. Two, three, four, five, six cards. I'm going to pick up one. Great. Uh, I am going to play a company. Okay. It's downstage theater. It has a grand power of two uh, and topics of traditional and Canadian. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, and are are they going to go for, are oh, they go for some money? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Uh, let's go for some money. I got a three, so we don't have any money. No money. So that means that you're going to skip your production phase and you're going to go right to strategic planning. What would you like to do, if anything, in your strategic planning phase? 
Uh, I mean, let's just start off <laughs> with a good old fashioned fuck the system. Whoa, mean. I uh, know. What does that do? Can you tell uh, us what it's it does? Super mean. So fuck the system. Uh, I am going to play this on Night Swimming. Sorry, Brian. Love you. Uh, Night Swimming's fed up with the colonial granting system and refuses to participate anymore. So they disappear from the game and do not return. <gasps> no, Brian Brittany. <laughs> Brian, how did you do this to them? <laughs> I'm so sorry. So wait, they, they very... send them to the graveyard? So they go to the graveyard and your money goes back to the government and BIPOC Spock, unfortunately, never gets to be fully realized. Oh no, Brian and Brittany. But they've but like, taken a stand. <laughs> they took a stand, an admirable one. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean that the system stops itself. So Jenna, it's still your turn. Uh, was that a was that a just a, a normal gray strategy card? Or was that a wild? Uh, instant? Uh, it was a wild. Okay, so you actually still have uh, your two uh, normal moves for strategic planning, should you wish to use them. Uh, yeah, uh, sh sure. Um, uh, I've got a hot topic, so let's play a hot topic. Okay, what's it gonna be? Uh, it's site specific. Okay, so from now on, all projects that are in play that are a hot topic of site specific are gonna get a plus four. Whoa. Good to know. Where do I put it? Just anywhere on the table in front of you so that we can see it and we'll remember it. And cool. I think Milton will throw it up on the board uh, for our spectators to remember that site specific is cool these days, especially site specific, open right. air outdoor theater that is going to come our way for <laughs> uh, this winter. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. That feels like a good amount of things to do this turn. Okay, which means that we're coming back over to you, Maddie. It's your concept phase. Thank you. I draw uh, five cards. Awesome. So I would like to. Oops, sorry, I'm on the side. I'm going to play an instant card. Artist producer training. Where did your producer learn to be how learn how to be so great? Generatortio.com. I, I actually graduated from APT in 2016. <laughs> um, so the target company requires one less grant in order to open any project, and I'm going to give that to the Amy project. Hey, very good. Um, that doesn't right change now, their grant probability, though, right? It's still you still need to get a one. In order to get it, mm. in order to get a grant. All right. And I am going to play. Let's see. I'm going to roll. Wait, I can't. I put a production in during the production phase. Yes. So, so you right need money going... before you can put something on the table. Thank you. I'm rolling for the Amy project, which needs one. Yes. Hey. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. All right, so, because they've got APT on their side, it means that if you want to play a show that needed two grants, you've got all the money that you need. Which is awesome because right now I'm going to play uh, a stone's throw, which can open. Uh, and right now when it's open, it's worth six points. Can you tell us what a stone's throw is about, Maddie? Oh, thank you. A stone's throw is an old fashioned public stoning meets contemporary call out culture, and it is participatory and traditional. Not site specific, as I would hope, or multicultural and feminist, but it'll do for now. Okay. And I would like to attack Jenna's community points directly. Okay, so we are in our first competition of the night. There is nothing on Jenna's side of the table protecting the interests of people on her side. So uh, our current score is six, Maddie, is that correct? You've got a project of six? Yes against zero, you get to lead the competition. Would you like to add any value to that project? Not at this moment. Don't throw. Okay, so Jenna, you get to respond. How would you like to respond? Uh, I won't. <gasps> you won't, which means the competition is over and six communities are going to migrate from, well, Alberta to- 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30. Very good. Uh, is that right? That is not correct. It is six, Milton. So we should be 29 
to uh, 14. 14. 29. Correct it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, great work. So that means, Maddie, that a stone's throw is closed. It's had a very successful run. Lots of people came to see it. Six. And uh, you are now in your strategic planning phase. What do you want to do? I'm going to play they, them, there. You can't okay. seem to get people's pronouns right, so they give up on you, and you lose two communities, Jenna. 30, 12. Send Working it to away. the graveyard. Very good. And that's the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. And so we're over to Calgary. Okay, I'm going to start by discarding. I have four cards in my hands. I'm going to start by discarding one, and I'm going to pick up now four. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I think the next thing for me to do is to roll for a grant. Do you have any companies that you want to play? No. Okay. Just hanging out with Downstage, Grant then Power. that is two. what's happening. Yeah, so one or two, I think, unless I've got something really magical in here. Got a three was not downstage's time this time also. No, I'm trying hard. Uh, uh, so we're skip production phase and we are into your strategic planning again, where you were planning on how to survive Maddie's next turn. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, for the, what is the, Night Swimming is gone. Amy Project is, is up and has a project, is that right? They have yes. a project that is currently closed so it can reopen on Maddie's next production phase. Can we tell tell me all of the like specialities in there? Absolutely. So um, a stone's throw is when closed, it is worth four points. I have to roll evens in order for it to reopen on my next turn. When it's open, it's worth six points. And what are the like blue words? Uh, participatory and traditional. Great. I'll just set a trap. <laughs> Taking very good dram dramaturgical notes on the situation. <laughs> I have some scratch pad. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's because I can't keep track of anything if I don't write it down. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So I've, I've laid a trap. That feels nice. Uh, yep. I feel, I feel good about ending Great. my turn. Okay, great. So we're back to Toronto. Back to Toronto. Thank you. I um, draw four cards. Oh, sorry. Here we go. All right. Um, I play Soul Pepper Theater. <gasps> and Soul Pepper, um, its keywords are traditional and dramatic. And if I roll. Uh, and their grant power is all six sides of the die. So I don't need to roll to get a grant for them. But you um, could if you just wanted to rub it in, I guess. Right. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Um, I play Soul Pepper, and right now I roll for the Amy Project. And you need to roll what? Oh, I rolled a five for the Amy Project, and Amy Project requires I roll one. So Sorry. I don't. You already have all the funding that you need for that project, Maddie. Oh, but if oops. you were rolling to reopen that, uh, you would need to roll what? Oh, Evens or odds? sorry, I, I, I oops, and then I rolled for grants for the Amy project. But would you like okay. me to open it now? Nope, we're gonna. You'd have to do it again unless you wanted to collect for. Uh, if you want to roll for, or, well, you're just gonna collect money for Soul Pepper. Oh, okay, um, I'm going to collect money first for Soul Pepper. And um, I am going to play um, the Ramayana. Ooh. The Ramayana is a contemporary take on the Sanskrit epic. This gripping story of exile explores profound philosophical and spiritual ideas over a day-long South Asian dinner. And its keywords are multicultural and diaspora. Right now okay. it is in development and it's worth four points. Okay. Now, do you want to reopen, as you said before, your stone's throw? Yes, I'm going to try and do that. 
Uh, I need to roll evens. And I have rolled a two. Okay. Which means um, that a stone throw is back for an extended run. People love it. I actually did um, a show last year, last spring, called uh, the, uh, the Stones Project. And it's about stoning, the stoning of women. So I'm just like, whoa, this show, this show actually happened last year. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, I'd like to attack Jenna's points directly. Right now it's worth six. Okay, do you want to lead that competition, Maddie, or do you want to defer to Jenna? Um, I'm going to defer to Jenna. Okay, Jenna. I will take it. I'll take I'll take the hit. All right. Interesting choice. 11, 30, 31, 32, 8, 30, 30, 7, 30, 6. 35. I'm a little bit scared because I wonder if there's a card in your deck that reverses people's community points and I get Jenna's points and Jenna gets my points. I wonder if there's a card that's like that. Well, I... Uh... We can't say those things because we don't know. But uh, right now, Maddie, it is your strategic planning phase. Or rather, Patrick, we can say that we do know that a card like that exists. Whether or not Jenna has that card in her deck, we're not sure because exactly. uh, I believe Jenna has access to four of the Alberta decks, and the card is definitely in one of them. That's so, true. All right. That's yes. very good to know. And it's kind of scary. Um, yes, I would it is. like to set a trap. <laughs> Okay. And I end my turn. Okay, which means Over that you, Jenna. Jenna. Sweet. Uh, I'm just just hanging out here, thinking about things. Uh, I have I like I have a lot of cards. I have six. I am going to get rid of two of them, and then draw three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, I drew a company, which is Shumka. Shumka is a Ukrainian dance company. Woo! Uh, they've been around for a long time in Edmonton. They uh, have a grant power of four and uh, are multicultural and nostalgic. Ooh. Uh, okay, so I think now I shall roll. I will attempt to roll for downstage again with their grant power of two. Actually, I'm a liar. Before I roll, I'm gonna roll for Shumka first. Why not? Okay. Grant power of four. Makes me feel a little better. Got a two. So I can put a grant down, right? Yes, you can. Uh, and I will also... I'll just, I'll roll for downstage, why not? Roll to five. Boo. No dice. Downstage will get funding one day. One day. Um, my headphones are in the way. Uh, okay, I am going to play uh, some operating funding for Shumka. Okay. Great. Uh, so this means that Shumka will keep all their grants in play even after a project is defeated. That said, it won't prevent burnout. So Shumka only has a project limit of two, but why not? Sounds good. Where should I um, put it? You should just can put I, it. You... Oh, sorry. Well, can first I'll just say, Jenna, you can put it next to Shumka is where you can put that card. Great. It means that the target company keeps all their grants even after a project is defeated. So once Thank I you. collect grants, I don't need to give them back to the government. And our, what's their grant power again, Jenna? Four. Four, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that exists down there. Um, and I will uh, play a sweet project, which will be in development. Uh, and it's called Nenshi is Menshi. Uh, it is a Jewish uh, folk dance celebrating Mayor Nahed Nenshi. He's the 36th mayor of Calgary. It is a multicultural and TYA project. Pretty sweet. Menchie, done Menchie. by a Ukrainian dancing company. Mm -hmm. I love so all, it. All sorts of uh, hybridity. So it's in development, um, and it is uh, worth two in development plus a plus two boost to multicultural. So that's where that's at. Four cool. points. Mm. Yep, I feel good. 
Okay, strategic planning, you want to just stop? Or you want to? Wanna... I'm going to stop. You're going to stop. All right. So, Maddie, uh, it's your turn. I will draw three cards. And um, I will play a company. Why not theater? Hey. Um, they have a grand power of one to five. Uh, they are multicultural and edgy, and they have a project limit of three. Oh, I wish I had uh, paired this with a Ramayana because that would be a super powerful combo. And strangely uh, real. <laughs> yeah. Multicultural and what? Where is it? What was the other thing? And edgy. Edgy. A Ravi, a Waif, Kelly. So edgy, so multicultural. So edgy and multicultural. BB accurate. Um, okay, I enter my application phase. And because Soul Pepper has a grant power of one to six, they automatically get a grant. Um, I, right now I'm going to roll for Why Not Theater. And I rolled a one. Ah, I should have done it in version. And they win a grant. Now, and just for just for housekeeping, Maddie, your stone's throw successfully competed against Jenna last time, so it should be closed again. Thank so you. You're in a position now where you are trying to reopen it if you want to. Thank you. Um, I'm going to try and let's see. Hmm. Uh, first, before I do that, I want to let's see. I'm going to play the project Omelette du Fromage and pair it with Why Not Theater. A pod play and French cooking show are whisked to perfection in this performance about love, language, and dexterity. This is such a great fun, the dexterity thing. I was just like, oh yeah, I remember, I remember that episode like it was yesterday. Um, <laughs> Thank you and... so much, Matt. That's... <laughs> Just for anyone watching who doesn't know it, Patrick, can you explain? That is a very infamous episode of Dexter's Lab uh, in which he goes to sleep trying to learn French and it gets paused, I think. Right, Maddie? Do you remember this episode in detail? Yeah, it gets paused gets... on Omelette du Fromage. And so that's all he knows how to say when he wakes up because that is not how one should try to learn a language. As someone who's quite enthusiastic about learning languages, do not try the Omelette du Fromage uh, mm -hmm. approach. Awesome reference. Thank you. Is um, that project in development or does it immediately open? It is, right now it is in development. Uh, in development, it is only worth three points. Uh, now I would like to see if I can reopen a stone's throw. I need to roll evens. Here we go. I've rolled a six. Which means it's open. Which means it's open. I'm a little just, bit nervous to see if that card, if Jenna has the card in her hands right now, because I've been keeping track of what you've been getting rid of. And there's one card that you haven't really gotten rid of. I think. I could be wrong. Um, either way, I'm prepared. So um, you've been the competition, but Maddie, just so that the table's clean, can you f make sure that your Why Not show is flipped to be in development and not closed so we don't forget next time I oh, take it? Stop sign thank up. Thank you. Thank you. So it is your competition. Uh, it does seem like something is up the sleeve of your opponent, but let's find out what happens. How do you want to lead this competition? Do you want to do anything first? Um, I'm going to attack the card that is closed because I can't attack community points directly when there is. You cannot. So there is a bit of, there's something in the way. The audiences are uh, still partially swayed by uh, Jenna's show over there. Jenna, what's your show again? Uh, Nenshi is Nenshi. Right, Nenshi is Nenshi, of course. Why wouldn't they be swayed? Uh, so it's a stone's throw versus Nenshi is Menshi. Uh, it's a six against a four, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah. So you're up two, Maddie. How do you want to start? I am just going to attack Nenshi is Menshi directly okay. without buffing. Two point difference. Jenna, how do you want to respond? Uh, I, I will respond, uh, with, uh, <laughs> because it's funny and I really want to play it, um, I'm going to, uh, 
respond with nudes. I'm gonna buff myself. All my performers were waxed before their end development showcase, and the audience is captivated by how smooth they are. Namely, Nenshi. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So, so there's a this this um, very slick uh, multicultural dance project uh, is now worth eight. Which means that we are you are up two, so it's six serving eight. Uh, Maddie, how do you want to respond? I want to respond by revealing my trap card. You cannot play your trap card. Hold on, Maddie. You are you cannot play your trap card because you are in offense at this point. So, oh, thank you. Remember that. So you can, you don't have access to your trap card, Jenna. However, on defense does. Uh, it is still <gasps> six serving eight. What do you want to do? I'm going to play because it's funny, worse than a selfie. Yes, your performers might be waxed, but their headshots are so terrible. And your project loses one point. Okay, which means that it is now seven serving six. Uh, Jenna, how do you want to respond? Well, if I'm ahead, can I just end it? You can, or you can dig your heels in and keep trying to, you know, uh, get more community points from your opponent. Oh, does this get more community points? I don't close it. Like, I have to, to close it, I have to obliterate it? Is that what no, I no, have to do? If, if it ends right now, you're going to take one point. I'm going to take one point, and does the but show... If you, you could add more to your score. You could add more to your show, or you could take away from uh, Maddie's project, and the difference would be greater. I see, uh, I see. That is up to you. But it not. ends up being community points. OK. There will always be community points that are traded. And Jenna, maybe to answer more specifically, if you do uh, win this competition, even with one point, your company and your project would stay, and Maddie's would then go to the graveyard. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's sort of what I was getting at. Sorry, yes, that is what will happen. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, the Amy project is on the line right now. Yeah. Uh, no, that's enough. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's going to be yeah. the end. One yeah. point is going to go from Toronto to Calgary. 34. And sadly, that is the end of the Amy project and their stellar production of. No. Oh. Uh, oh. I can't believe uh, you killed one of the only theater companies to serve brown femmes. But they got a good run, and look how many communities came to you for that, which I stand. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just some housekeeping, Maddie. Your strategy card that was there, it's also to the graveyard, and it's actually still your turn. So we are in your strategic planning phase, Maddie Bautista. Oh, what wait. do you want to do? That was your turn. Oh, it's, that was your production. Right, that's true. I was on the offensive. Okay, yes. Thank you. Um, right now, I am not going to play anything for strategic planning. And over to you, Jenna. Okay. Uh, cool. I have... I have three cards that I feel good about, so I'm just going to take four. Uh, which is great. I have a company. I'm going to play this company. It is a lunchbox theater, uh, which very sadly just gave up their space. Um, uh, COVID has not been kind to our pals at lunchbox theater. They do lunchtime theater shows. They are traditional and Canadian. They have a granting power of three. Um, I have faith that they will survive. I hope. Uh, that's that. It is a unique um, thing, actually, in the entire country, isn't it? Like, I don't think there's anyone else who's, at least at the sort of operating level that they're at, where it's purely dedicated to showing performances at lunch. I yeah, wonder if it's the I urban mean, design of Calgary that would allow that. Like, that uh, there would be people there who would see it, I guess. They have a loyal audience. What They used to be in a building in a college, and so they got a lot of audiences, like, on lunch breaks. But now, their new building, uh, not so much. They have a dedicated um, audience of blue hairs. Uh, and I'm not sure what's going to happen as they transition to a year in development and um, right. sometimes a project-based company. So. Can you clarify the concept of the blue hair? Uh, I, I mean that the bulk of their audience is over 65. Right. Blue. And also voting a certain way is what you're suggesting. No, no? not necessarily. Oh. No. <laughs> I was like, is this a, because a gray hair, it seems to be, anyways. Not in, Al not in Alberta. <laughs> they all I was just, just being hair. Yeah, They all every... just have blue hair. Everyone's yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, no, uh, unfortunately, voting in Alberta is frustrating. Yes. <laughs> May I know uh, okay. the keywords, Jenna, of Lunchbox? Traditional and Canadian. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I have... Uh, I'm just going to go down the row. One, two, three. I'm going to roll for downstage, which needs a grant. Uh, uh, I need a one or two. I rolled a three. So sorry, downstage. You will just continue to hang out in the arts commons, which is currently closed. Um, Shumka uh, needs one, two, three, or four. Rolled out of my screen, but it's a two. Okay. Yeah. So that gets another grant, which will open this project. Do I turn that now? You'll turn it now to be open. Okay. And we'll is this continue. Nenshi? Is it yeah. Nenshi? That's right. Uh, and you will roll, we'll continue in your application phase before moving on to production. That's right. So I'm going to roll for Lunchbox, which needs one, two, or three. And it got a five, so Lunchbox is not getting a grant right now. Sadly. Sadly. So, which means that we are in your first uh, initiated production phase, Jenna. Yes. And uh, what do you want to do? Uh, uh, goodness gracious. So we have Soul Pepper and Why Not on the board. Uh, and what are the... Pro so Nenshi as Menshi is uh, worth four as it's open and it's got a two point multicultural boost. So it's worth six hanging out right now. So All you get right. to choose who you're competing against between Soul Pepper or Why Not and their respective shows. And I think only Soul Pepper has a show, is that right? No. Um, why not and Soul Pepper both have shows? Uh, I'll so what, show them to you right now. Thank you. Uh, right now they're both in development. Uh, the Ragnayamna is worth four project points in development, and it's multicultural and diaspora. However, it doesn't get any bonus, and neither does Omelette du Fromage, which in development is worth three points. And it's uh, experimental and poetic. Uh, sorry, and it's worth how many? Two points? Three. Thank you. And and what's the goodness gracious? The project. What's the project limit on Soul Pepper and on Why Not? Are they both threes? They're both threes. Well, Big sweet, company. Sweet fun. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I think um, I will go uh, for the Ramayana and Soul Pepper right now. We'll leave Ravi alone. It's the uh, Ramayamna. Just to, uh... oh, Ramayamna. It's an it's an eat it's a show in which people eat. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna hang out with uh, we're gonna talk to this weird hybrid Wayne Rabi show. <laughs> Dope. But Ramayamna, Yamna. That's what uh, I'm going to go for. So that's six against four. Uh, four. Uh, six serving four. So you get to lead that competition, Jenna. Do you want to add anything to Nenshi? Is Menchi? Uh, do I want to add anything to Nenshi as Menchi? Um, do I? Uh, uh, sure. Why not? Um, Nenshi as Menchi is not only waxed. I mean, they are no longer waxed, but you know, weak old wax. They're also an all queer cast. Uh, the future uh. is queer. So plus eight. That's. Oh dang. So it's a large How gathering I of queer Ukrainian dancers uh, featuring the mayor. That's right. Uh, so that is six plus eight, which is 14. 14, indeed. So it is 14 uh, to four. So four serving 14 right now. Maddie, what are you going to do? I respond with my trap card. A flash in the plan. The succession plan didn't work out. The new AD showed promise, but is inexperienced and needs more time. And you lose the eight points that you just added, Jenna. Oh. Tragic. Uh, so that means we are back at a 6-4 game. Uh, Jenna, how do you want to respond? Um, I think I'm going to respond with uh, a land acknowledgement. Uh, it was a blunder and you forgot the Sutena Nation uh, during your land acknowledgement, and that puts you at minus four. Okay, so that is a zero to six. Maddie, how do you want to respond? Uh, I want to respond with escapism. I added an escape room angle to my show. So the Ramayamna is not just this epic tale with food. It's also it's also an escape room. So huh? I go from zero to six. Can we just sit with that for a moment and imagine what, it, I mean, I guess it's like a family dinner that you can't leave. 
at Soul Pepper. <laughs> you have to find right. the clues. The family secret is buried inside the bowls of soup that you have to eat. When you finish common. the soup, you see like an image and it gives you. <laughs> All right, so what's our scores at right now? Uh, I'm back up to six. You're back up to six. Maddie, can you leave those cards on your table just so that we oh, can keep track of so sorry. Absolutely. what's going on, right? So, so you've escape. got six. Jenna, you've also got six. Yeah. And so it's a six-six game. How do you want to respond, Jenna? Uh, I'm, I'm going to respond with a divided audience. Um, so this development work of food at Soul Pepper in an escape room you didn't realize that your in development show dates are at the same time as a very popular show and your tickets sales suffer and that's minus six. That puts you back to zero. No one came to the workshop. Oh, dang. Uh, so it's a zero six a game again. I respond to that. Um, I choose you. I wrote right of first refusal contracts into my, for my designers and my staff and they appreciate the, the parity and they put more work into the project. So I'm go from zero to four. That's very wholesome. So it's four to six, still a two point deficit. Uh, Jenna, do you want to call it or are you going to keep going? You've bled out each other's cards, basically. <laughs> like, I know, I know, I know. Create quite a complicated situation. For... Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take that as a sign. I'll call it. Okay, so that's two yeah. points to Calgary. 39. 32. Uh, all of your strategy cards that you've just played in that are going to the graveyards. Maddie, unfortunately, uh, the time we won't get to see whether or not, or like how people actually digest the Ramayamna in uh, in full production, uh, because it's going to go to the graveyard. No goodbye. And you're going to send that money back to the uh, government. Jenna, it's still your turn. Nenshi is Menshi is closed now. They need a bit of a break, but it's uh, it can come back. And uh, it's your strategic planning phase now. Thank you. And just for my own clarification, does that mean now that Soul Pepper has only two projects remaining? That is correct. Great. This is how I'm trying to remember things. I'm going to place a card underneath the, the companies, Jenna, so you can keep in track as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll move it here so we have more visual. Um, I think I think I'm good. Okay. So Maddie, it is your concept phase. You can discard and then draw and play companies. Thank you. Hmm. I will discard one card and draw six cards. <laughs> one, four, five, wait, two, three, four, oh, sorry. This Very persistent sound effects, one, And this is yeah. my sixth one. Thank you for your patience, Eddie. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sorry, I just want to read. Sorry, this is like the most I've ever drawn. So now I want to read and make sure I know what I'm, I have. Um, at this moment, I am going to uh, roll for Why Not Theater. One to five, and I got a four. Congratulations. I had a grant. Uh, Soul Pepper Theater, they always get grants, so I'm just gonna give them one. And uh, I'm going to play the um, show craps. Last vape. New science about the effects of vaping has 16 year old crap thinking back on their best years and recording themselves with an early death. Oh, reconciling, sorry, recon reconciling themselves with an early death. Its keywords are traditional and poetic, and because it's traditional and Soul Pepper has a keyword traditional, uh, it's worth an it, it gets an additional bonus point. So in development, it's worth five points. Okay. Now you've got two grants on why not. Does your show need three to be open or is it uh, 
open um, right now? Amalek de Fromage has de Fromage. I don't think has ever opened. Is this true? How many grants does it need to open? Is what I'm asking. Two. Oh, sorry, two. Grants. Two. That means that that show is open and it must compete against Jenna's uh, Nenshi as Menshi. Um, it must. It absolutely must. Unfortunately, right. we cannot pretend like we are not in a system in which we are pitted against each other. Okay. Um, and then I shall go up against <laughs> okay. Nenshi is Menchi. Revenge! <laughs> so, Omelette de Fromage is against Nenshi is Menchi. Now, Jenna, you have the option, because Nenshi is Menchi is closed right now, you have the option to reopen it, or try to reopen it, by rolling the dice. Uh, do you want to use that option? Is there any consequence to using that option? Well, if you get the dice, if you get the right uh, die face, is it even or is there odds that Nenshi has mentioned needs to Odds. Be? Odds, so if you get odds, it opens and you have a slightly higher value because you know, it's working uh, all at the same time. Uh, but if it's not, then it's just, it stays, it stays in a closed position, but you still must defend it. Sounds like that's probably what I should do. Try to okay. open it. Go. Try to open it. Roll. <laughs> Got a four, so it's uh, still closed. It's gonna stay closed, and it'll but. be the memory of that show that is uh, facing off against. Yeah, the uh, the the slightly the stubbly, yeah, the slightly really... stubbly all queer cast. Yeah. Did Jenna enter the application phase there? Uh, no, she did not. It is currently oh. your turn still, Maddie, and uh, it's your production phase. So, right now, it's your omelette de fromage against, and she is Menchi. And she's mentioned she has a value of what, Jenna? Uh, so it's closed. It has a value of three, but it, it still gets the multicultural boost. Uh, it is five. Five. So it's five, and Amnette de Fromage is worth six. Six. Six to five. Six serving five. How do you want to begin, Maddie? Uh, I'm just going to attack directly, no boosting. Okay. So one point difference. Jenna, how would you like to respond? You're down one point. Yes, but this goes to the graveyard if it's defeated. It does, and it sends uh, that money back to the government. Oh no, it doesn't because Shumka has operating, so. But you would still lose the show. Uh, I mean, let's. Uh... So many options. Uh, I'll, I'll try this, the flash in the pan. Ooh. That we've seen that before. So a flash on the plan, it is a minus eight, which means that, uh, Maddie, you are down to a negative two to Jenna's five. So we've All got right. a seven point difference. How do you want to respond? I would like to respond with an international tour. <gasps> so Omelette du Fromage is earning international favor, which makes us significant cultural export. You're going to all of La Francophonie and people are loving it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tour the across Europe. People love it. <laughs> uh, so that means that you were, you're at eight and Jenna, you are at five. There's a three point difference. Jenna, what do you want to do? It's five serving eight. I'll leave it. Indeed. Okay. That means that you are down to six. And Maddie is up to 35. Eight, 30, 30, 35. Please send your strategy cards to the graveyard. And Nenshi is Menshi, we will bid farewell. Uh, Underneath. Shibka has one more show, I believe, before it has to burn out. That's right. But you get to keep your money. So Maddie, it's still your turn. Strategic planning, what do you want to do? Uh, strategic planning, I want to play a hot topic. Poetic. There's still beauty in this world, isn't there? All projects in play with the keyword poetic are boosted for the rest of the game or until replaced by another hot topic. Okay. So site-specific goes away. Site-specific is gone. Poetic is now what is cool. And uh, we continue on. Nothing else you want to do, Maddie? Um, I guess I'll let Jenna know that both of my cards have poetic in their um, values, oh sorry, in their keywords. So right now, Crap's Last Bait in development is worth eight points and Omelette du Fromage is worth seven points. Sorry, Crap's Last Bait is actually worth nine points in development because it's paired with Soul Pepper's Leader. Um, Make it real hard. <laughs> it's the hot topic, it's, it's the times. Um, yeah, people are getting right. romantic about things. 
Uh, Jenna, what do you, it's your turn. It's your concept phase, discard, draw, plan companies, all that fun. How do you want to begin? Uh, maybe I'll just start off by playing the card Maddie is afraid of. <gasps> In the shoes Ooh. of another. Where we switch our community points to give me a fresh start. It mm -hmm. is actually a fresh start is the name of another card, which is <laughs> really evil. Uh, but this is happening, and uh, at a much more than not not twenty 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 is that an epic card? It is an epic card. It is the one epic card that Jenna has. Uh, you still have yours, possibly, unless you've discarded it. Um, uh, but as we've seen in the past, not to not to cast you know like ill omens on you, Jenna. We've seen in the past that just because that card is played does not mean it guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And I'm prepared for it. Actually, even without knowing that this card existed, I felt that it is that you had it in your hand, Jenna. Well, well I felt you were discarding six. And also, you were okay with me taking so many points. So I I'm felt prepared. a lot of fear about this hot topic change because I don't know how much I've got that's poetic <laughs> in my deck. So, uh, and ooh. you probably don't have another hot topic card on you. So. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to. Can't remember. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I have. I have. Uh, I have one card that I will hold on to for fun right. and draw six. One. Okay. Two. Three, four, great, five, great, six. <laughs> uh, well, this is very funny. Um, yep, I definitely know where I'm at in this whole process. Uh, okay, let's... Start, um, I think I'm just gonna go down the line again and just go one, two, three for rolls. So I'm gonna start with downstage, which needs a one or a two. It got a five, I think. There no go. money for downstage. No money for downstage. Just gonna hang out in my I hand. I get Claire. I know, I'm sorry, Claire. <laughs> um, Shumka needs a one to a four. It has a five. Uh, so that doesn't get a grant. But it still uh, has those two on it. So you can still play a project um uh the end of this application phase and then lunchbox needs a one two or three Woo! three you see that so lunchbox gets some money there we go uh and then oh. it's okay it's okay i think i did something backwards but it's okay I'm just gonna keep saying that to myself. It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Thank maybe. you. Thank maybe. you. Maybe, maybe Thank not. You. Who knows? Um, uh, great. So lunchbox, uh, we're gonna play, and it's gonna go. Well, what am I doing? I drew too many new cards. Now I'm just trying to figure out all of the things that I'm doing. I apologize. Uh, okay. So I am going to. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, uh, why not? We're gonna play uh, a dildo and anus. <gasps> Tell us, what's that show about? Yeah, I mean, you can only guess. Uh, it's a rock hard opera adaptation of Purcell's masterpiece, Dido and Aeneas. Uh, it's musical and a queer, and it takes two uh, grants to open, and uh, that makes it in development for Shumka. Is it only? It only needs two grants, though. And Shumka's oh. got two grants, which means that that show on Shumka is open right now. It's open. Great. That's what. That's thank you. That's what I need. Uh, and then I play decolonial practices. Are you? Okay. Are you going to play another card? She does need to play another card, but you've played that, and it's going to be. Uh, you have to play that card now at the end of this phase. But now Jenna does have a little bit of a foresight as to which card she wants to play. Uh, or it'll be yeah. at the application phase that you'll have to do that. All right. Well, while I'm doing musicals, I think maybe we'll do another musical with Lunchbox um, to do Treat Yourself. Uh, Treat Yourself is a modern rap retelling of Treaty 7 negotiations set in uh, 1877. It's an indigenous musical. It does not match with the traditional Canadian of Lunchbox. 
uh, but it is worth three points in development. Okay, now because Maddie jumped the gun, but she's played it anyway, so you, Maddie, can you read this card out so that people know what's going on? Decolonial practices, let's decolonize our industry. At the end of your opponent's application phase, play this card to make them justify how each of their projects promote decolonial practices. You be the judge. Each project they fail to convince you of loses one grant. Okay, so, uh, Jenna, you know this card. Uh, what, uh, Maddie is the judge. So, you can start whichever project you want to start with. Uh, yeah, uh, sure. I'll start, I suppose, with what I um, anticipate to be uh, objectively more difficult, which is Dildo and Anus here, which is a queer musical being taken on by Shunka, which is a multicultural and nostalgic company. Um, I think that the culture clash that exists between the operating company and the radical departure from their nature is uh, somewhat decolonial in practice. The notion that a, a nostalgic company rooted in tradition is taking on a queer musical is about questioning the core values of what made that company and exploring what it could potentially become in the future. What is the not jury convinced. Say? The jury is not convinced, which means that one of those grants is going back to the government, Jenna. And but I have operating funding. It doesn't matter in this situation. Great. It goes back and your show reverts to in development. But moving down the line, uh, the jury is now going to turn to their next application, which says... <laughs> Uh, well, uh, this is um, Treat Yourself, uh, a modern rap retelling of Treaty 7 negotiation set in 1877, paired with Lunchbox Theatre, which is a traditional Canadian theatre. And not unlike uh, Lunchbox this past year, uh, I uh, think that this is a, a meaningful partnership with a local community company that is rooted in Indigenous storytelling and has a modern contemporary rap treatment to um, appease the new Hamilton finding fans uh, who also uh, attend uh, Lunchbox Theater on the regular. Uh, it is an opportunity for our blue haired audiences, as we like to say, uh, to be exposed to stories they may not have otherwise heard um, and for the company to engage in indigenous practices um, from start to finish. I am convinced. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if that was the way that we just get <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down like a Roman emperor? <laughs> ah. uh, all right. Well, congratulations. Uh, treat yourself. Um, you don't lose any of your money. Uh, Jenna, it's still your turn. Your production phase, however, has been cut short because you have no shows that are open now. And uh, you move into your strategic planning. Sure. Uh... Let's let's do this. Uh, never got off the ground. Burn two cards from your opponent's hand. Okay, which cards? Are, how many cards do you got there, Maddie? You're three cards. You got three cards. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. I want to burn your right and your left hand. My right and my left hand. Yeah. Okay. They are burned. Thank you. Right. And it's still your strategic planning, Jenna. Should you wish to play anything else? Uh, no, I feel good. Okay. Back to you, Maddie. All right. I draw six fresh cards. Sorry, now I, I have to read all of them now. Three, four, five, six, seven, yes, well, despite the score difference, you've got two pretty strong companies, uh, fairly well recognized companies I on do. the table. And I'm planning to claw back those points. Ah. I'm sure the audiences wouldn't appreciate that kind of language, but I, we. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> With your talons. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm planning to share communities in a meaningful way with you. That's what I learned from decolonized practice. <laughs> Let's see. 
How many cards do you have in your hand, Jenna? Four. Four, okay. All right, I'm going to roll for Why Not Theater. And, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I, I don't need to because they already have the grant for omelette du fromage and so does soul pepper so i don't need to roll for grants apologies everybody um i enter my um production phase so hold on a second maddie you how many grants do you need another grant for soul pepper because you need to oh wait yes grant. i do oh my god thank you thank you, thank you. but soul pepper has 100 percent percentage I mean, you could, and you was want. there rolling to reopen was the first yeah that's like, what i want to know is like did you want to roll to reopen why not theater's production yes i'm going to roll to reopen now okay and what do they need to roll right now they need evens to reopen okay omelette du fromage um and i rolled a three so i do not reopen okay hmm. So are, neither of your shows are open right now. Nope. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. I play the strategy card. Um, you're a racist. You accidentally let a performer go on stage with blackface. Accidentally. Change the context Oof. of the entire show. Indeed. Yeah, accidentally in quotes. So you lose three communities, Jenna. 30, 30, 32. Is there anything else that you want to play at this stage of your strategic planning, Maddie? Oh, um, also the target player must have a company in play to send to the graveyard. Um, uh, sorry, is this for, is this for, you're a racist? Yes. That just means that you can play that card because Jenna does have companies that are on her side of the table. So oh, once, well, that I can. Yeah, oh, you, are not, okay. you did play that and so you're allowed to play that card. Oh, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I thought I thought the company would be sent to the graveyard after the single use, but I no, it. unfortunately. Well, you know, maybe that's something that needs to change in, or on another card, whether or not companies do fold after acts like that. Um, that is yet to be seen. So, is that the end of your turn, Maddie? That is the end of my turn. Which means that Jenna, it is your turn. Uh, With okay. A sizable lead. <laughs> uh, hey. Um, I'm gonna... Ooh. I'll just draw three. Oh dear. Uh, great. Uh, okay. I have a partner that is the Banff Center. Ooh. 100% yeah. uh, grant probability. Yeah, um, and I'm going to partner with Lunchbox Theater. They're really interested in this treat yourself um, action. Uh, they want to get in on the good, good indigenous. So we're going to hang out there. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do there. And then... That feels good. Uh, so I'm going to just take the grant for Lunchbox now. Yes? Okay, yep. That is, sorry, I should say that I'm moving phases, but Milton's doing such an excellent job of moving along. Yes, no, we, I think everyone is, if anyone's keeping with us right now, then they've learned the game's rules and <laughs> they're gonna be fine. So uh, okay. you wanna roll though for your other companies. I will, this one is just gonna open, so I'm flagging yep. that as a thing. Uh, and then for, uh, let's just roll for downstage. Let's see if we can get downstage some money. Come on, Claire, come on, Claire. Oh, it rolled a one. Right there. Okay. So that does receive a grant. Uh, and I, but to keep I, it, you need a project. Do I have a project? Uh, I have a project called, ooh, do I want to play that project? What am I doing? Uh, fucking Dramatic. Mm. Uh, fucking Dramatic is a traditional trauma play inspired by something from HBO, lots of sex, tons of danger. Cool. Uh, <laughs> obviously uh it is uh open um because it only needs one grant to open uh it is worth two and has a boost of three for downstages 
uh, traditional. Okay. So that means yeah. that we've got two shows. Is that the end of your application phase? You're done? Uh, I haven't rolled for Shumka yet. Okay. Would you like to? Yes. Would I like to? Do I want to have that many shows open? Well, it's up to you. Uh, one of I them ask- will get the chance to compete with something on Maddie's side of the table. So Only one of them will compete? Each one of them. But so they don't do it- stack in competition. No, they do not work together. I mean... Nah, I don't need to roll for Shumka this time. Two is enough for my little brain to handle. Okay, so that means that you need to pick though which of your projects is competing against which of Maddie's projects. So Maddie, you said you had something like bananas like six and nine going on over there? Um, so Craps Last Vape, which is an salt pepper, uh, it's dev- it's point base is four plus one because it's with salt pepper plus four, so it's nine in development. And omelette du fromage is um, wait, it's closed right now, so it's worth eight. It's like a lot of points for closed shows when my open shows are worth like five and six. <laughs> Indeed. So they're eight and nine. And if you target on that de fromage, it will reopen. It has the chance to reopen. Sorry. It has the chance to reopen. What are you going to do? Uh, God, I, I feel like I feel like I, I walked into some kind of trap. Uh, but I, I did it to myself and that's very fun. Uh, so let's, um, Let's target uh, Craps La Vape. Craps Last Vape. Last Vape. Last Vape. There we go. Yeah, great. Um, and uh, we will, I guess we'll start off with Downstage. Okay. So it's Downstage against Soul Pepper, I believe. Uh, yeah. Craps Last Vape against Fucking dramatic. Fucking dramatic. Great. Great pair. So how do you want to lead that competition? The score difference is nine for Craps Last Vape. And is that two or five. three? Five. Nine five with five. the boost, yeah. Five with the boost. So five serving nine. Uh, do you want to add anything to that, Jenna? Uh, no. No. So Maddie, it's your turn. You can add value to your show or take it away from Jenna's. How do you want um, to respond? Uh... Craps last vape. I'm the nine, right? You're the nine. She's the five. Um, I won't add anything to it. You're just gonna take four points. Okay. So you've uh, you're not adding anything, which means that that is a end of that competition. Uh, four points go from Jenna to Maddie. Seventy-eight. Twenty-eight. Great. So and- this. Part- now dead. It is now dead. Downstage, I believe, is also gone to the graveyard. Their money back to the government via taxation. And you move on to your next open project. Uh, this sweet one worth uh, six uh, is... will also uh, go up against Crack's last day. Okay, so it's six to nine. How do you want to lead that competition, Jenna? I won't. You won't. So, Maddie, how do you want to respond to the fact that your uh, opponent is not changing the fair score? It's really weird. I'm trying to understand what's going on. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the thing is that when a show opens, sometimes I think what's happened is that a show opens, you don't realize that it has to compete. And there's no way to uh, change its value. What are you talking about? I always know exactly <laughs> when I'm doing that. <laughs> Sorry, that's just me uh, possibly observing. <laughs> this is this is a wild strategy. You have no idea. Wild strategy. All right, Maddie. So it's six to nine. It's or nine serving six in your favor. Do you want to add anything or take anything away from Jenna's project? Nothing adding. Nothing to take away. Okay, which means that three points go from Jenna to Maddie. Eleven twenty twenty five. 
and that show also goes to the graveyard uh jenna yeah a mark against lunchbox they can do one more show before burning out lunchbox loses their grants to go back to the government via taxation and you move into strategic planning cool um i am going to uh <laughs> i mean goodness we have some uh very compatible cards and that's really fun uh so i'm gonna play play strategy card now right yeah you're a racist <laughs> Your turn. Is it for the same reasons? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it is. You accidentally let a performer go on stage with blackface and it changed the context of your entire show. You would, wow. think, that, you would think that someone doing that in one part of the country would mean that other people in the other parts of the country would learn. Yes, but sadly. It has shown that that's not the case. Mm -mm. I was messing up. The open letters weren't as viral. That's as true. Really. No, not clearly. Uh, so, so that means that Maddie's going down 12, so 11, 10. Three, just three. Three, sorry, three. Yeah. Um, um, and then how many of these puppies can I play? Uh, you can play one gray diamond at the end of your turn plus laying a trap, but you already have a trap. I have a trap. And you can, and that is it. Great, then that feels great. What a great way to end it. What a great way. So we're going back to Toronto. Thank you, everyone. I will discard, um, three cards from my hand. Um, and in my concept phase, I draw four more cards, sorry. Two, three, and four. All right. Um, I have a question. Are there yes. limits to how instant cards need to be played? Can there is no limit to the number of instants that you want to play uh, or can play in a row. There might be a logic uh, issue if the instant stipulates that it must be played at a certain time. For example, when you play decolonial practices, it could only be played at the end of your opponent's application phase. Application phase. Okay. So if you're playing, you're, they, everything happens linearly. So if you play one instant, it has to happen, and then the next one is going to happen after that. Okay. Does that make sense? Great to know, thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. All right. Um, right now, I play. Um, let's see. Operating funding. The target company keeps all their grants in play even after a project is defeated. And I okay. will tie that to Soul Pepper Theater. Soul Pepper is stocked. Um, I'm also going to, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to enter my application phase. Okay. Salt Pepper wins one grant and Craps Last Vape is open. I'm going to roll for Why Not Theater's Omelette du Fromage. They need even or odd? If they need um, evens to reopen. Okay. And I got a three, so I'm gonna let Du Fromage stays closed. I'm gonna play Decolonial Practices on you. Oh. Oh, dang. Okay. Oh, what a turn of events. I don't know, we've never had two, two Decolonial Practices against each other. So, Maddie, you know who the jury is. You know how this works. <laughs> okay. How do... Um, how does the project um promote decolonial practices how do each of your projects even the closed ones even the closed one yes you have to do both oh my gosh okay let me look at them okay i'm going to start with a more difficult one perhaps last week so the new science about the effects of vaping has 16-year-old crap thinking of a back on their best years and reconciling themselves with an early death. Um, Salt Pepper Theater usually uh, does traditional and dramatic plays, and this one is a traditional and poetic play. And we're exploring the life of the teenager crap, who is who has, in a way, uh, struggling with 
um, addiction regarding nicotine and vaping. And um, we want to center Crap, who is a teenager of color and really um, where I got the pressures on, I could hear like the crowd <laughs> cheering. Um, I think we need, we were here to center um, a young person of color who is thinking about their death and um, the end of the play um, isn't one that there, there are so many plays out there that has uh, trauma, uh, that has POC bodies experience trauma in them and perhaps Last Vape is actually um, a fun play and there's some hope for crap at the end that, that they find. Uh, that's crap. That's very funny. Uh, so I, I, thank you. While it sounds like a compelling narrative, I don't. I am not convinced that the practice that brings the show together is decolonial, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, crap. So do <laughs> crap I, is I, not I, dead. Crap is not dead. Just you lose just a grant. Loses one grant. It's just it's not dead. It's oh, not gone. Okay. I thought it's dead. So it goes back to in development. It goes back to in development. Exactly. Yeah. Let's see. Omelette du Fromage, a pod play and French cooking show, are whisked to perfection in this performance about love, language, and dexterity. Um, how Omelette du Fromage is decolonial? Because it's a pod play, um, the directors and the producers are really following the um, taking, the actors are taking the lead on what the process is going to be shaped like. And so um, they're we're really flexible in the rehearsal process and making sure that everyone is well rested. It's the perfect play to put up during the pandemic and everyone is listening to each other's needs. Listening, it's a pod play. Um, yeah, that's... that's mm -hmm. Jury? Jury? We're, we're, mm -hmm. we're not working the capitalist um, nine to f rehearsing from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we're using all the safety protocols because it's digital. And, but while it's digital, we're still checking in with everyone, making sure everyone feels safe. And that's on the let uh, You're right. That's a little bit tougher. Um, I, I, I think that um, I think that those are some good working practices, but I don't necessarily understand how it divorces us from the land and notions of like land-based practice and how that is incorporated and filtered down to your audiences or through your content. Um, oh, man. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to decline you on this one. I'm so sorry. Okay. Just, just decline. I'm going to, that's the politest way to say it. <laughs> okay, Omelette du Fromage is closed. Um, so actually, Maddie, because that show needs two grants to open, it needs to revert oh, to in development. In development. Oh, actually, so, that's great. Okay. Good uh, so great. Uh, great work, Jenna. Way to uh, way to decline politely. Uh, <laughs> and for all watching, I think those are very justifiable, uh, you know, explanations as to why those failed to be decolonial, uh, as you explained. Yeah. They were challenging plays to decolonize. I think. They you know, were. What's, what's, <laughs> An anomaly right now is that you gave feedback, which the Canada Council isn't doing right now for some reason. <laughs> Zing. And so, thank you for giving uh, concerted and focused detail uh, feedback for your applicants. Um, this uh, episode is brought to you by money from the Canada Council. Uh, so, Zing. Uh, Maddie, it is your uh, strategic planning phase because your production phase is kind of moot. Hmm. I. Let's see. I think I'm going to I'm going to end my turn. Okay, cool. So Jenna, what uh, you're back in concept phase, discarding, drawing, playing companies. Uh, I'm discarding one and drawing five. Okay. Ooh, okay. Who shuffled these? Um this is always my problem. Okay, I have uh, I have two companies. That's exciting. Why not? Let's play all the companies. 
um, uh, familiar to many people. This is the Citadel Theater. It has a grand power of six and mm. project limit of three. Uh, it strong. is traditional. 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 Located in Edmonton. What is traditional anyway? Uh, and then we have uh, Punctuate Theatre, also based in Edmonton. I've got three out of four in Edmonton going on right now, so Alberta represent. Punctuate Theatre is Indigenous and political. Um, it has a grant power of two and a project limit of one. Great. Mm. I that actually is... feel like we're competing this evening with a reading from Bears. Are we not? <laughs> <laughs> by punctuate theater i feel like i got an email from playwrights canada press uh, maybe that's it's, another night. it's possible but i know that sheldon who was the performer in it is performing an azimuth's production that i worked on in edmonton right now oh then never mind never mind it's a different uh maybe it's another night could just be another <laughs> human performing uh, uh uh oh gosh the stress of this all okay so i'm in a place where I am uh, gonna roll some stuff. Okay, that's exactly what you're gonna do. So it's application phase, pick the order that you wanna go in and roll away. Uh, well, for Banff Center, the partner with Lunchbox Theater and the Citadel, they each get a grant. So I'm just gonna take those and not belabor that. And then I'm gonna look at my hand and think really hard about my options. I am going to, uh, I'm gonna roll for a grant for Punctuate, which requires a one or a two. And it got six. No grant. No dice. Uh, and then, uh, I guess I will roll uh, this is in development, so I'll roll for a grant for Shumka, which requires one, two, three, or four. It rolled off of the screen, but it is a four. Okay. So that's a grant, which opens Dildo and Anus. Uh, what? Hmm? Sorry? <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, there's open. An, op an open dildo and an open anus. Uh, <laughs> hanging out over here, it's a queer musical <laughs> Rock hard <laughs> opera adaptation uh, worth six points um, by a Ukrainian dance company. Okay. Let your and imaginations run wild. To keep those two grants that you've also got on the table, we need some projects down. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you're okay. sending them back. No, that's good. That's a good, a wonderful reminder. Uh, let's uh, whew. be so good if things uh, partnered clearly. But unfortunately, this is not the luck of the draw. Uh, in in development, uh, we're gonna put the the ninety four for the Citadel. Okay. Uh, the ninety four is a ten point project, a massive community experience in which ninety four members of the public, Indigenous and settlers alike, gather to recite the ninety four calls to action put forward in twenty sixteen by the Truth and Reconciliation Re Reconciliation Com Committee every day for ninety four days. The ninety four. Dang. It's an indigenous and participatory show. It is in development at the Citadel. Daryl and Christine tearing it up. Uh, and then, <laughs> um, uh, and then for Lunchbox, because oh, why not? Uh, the project in development is going to be a residential school. Uh, residential school is a story about a young girl's experience at residential school coming to terms with the ghosts of the past. It is an indigenous show. And it is in development. Okay. So you've got one open, which means that it is competing. Shumka and their Dildo and Anus production, adaptation of Henry Purcell, uh, going against which of Maddie's productions? Which of Maddie's massive productions that- <laughs> I believe they're still at a nine for Crap Last Vape and an eight, or no, Omelette it's changed. What is um, Omelette du Fromage now? Omelette du Fromage, uh, it is seven. There's a seven in development. Seven or nine, what do you want to do? Uh, which one is the one that has a company that's already burned a project? Um, Salt Pepper Theater. So I'm going to go, uh, 
I'm just, I'm gonna keep hitting soul pepper, I think. Okay. What is that one? Is that a nine? Yes. Uh, great. Dildo and anus versus crap's last vape. Yeah. How do you want to begin, Jenna? Uh, uh, weirdly, after the decolonial practice explanation, um, Soul Pepper published a letter explaining why their version of cultural appropriation was not like other people's. Um, mm, keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Uh, so that's a minus 10. Which means that, Maddie, you're at minus one, and Jenna, uh, what's Dildo and Anus at? Is it a six? It's six. It's a six. Okay, six. So it's minus one serving six. Maddie, and how do you want to respond? How many cards do you have on your hand, Jenna? Do I have to tell you? You do, yes. Two. <laughs> Two? Uh, awesome. I'm going to play the card. Never got off the ground. Burn both of those cards, please. Ooh. And I'm going to respond, uh, because that was an instant card. I'm going to respond with a Metcalf mentorship. Thanks to the Metcalf Foundation, I can offload some of my admi admin onto a younger artist and focus more on my craft. That sounds nice, but also a little exploitative. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> so I, mean, I get six it? points. Uh, plus six. How would you describe what a men Metcalf mentorship does? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> it's also, is that like very similar, BCAC? Uh, uh, yeah, most sometimes. frequently, yes. Most frequently if you've applied for the internship stream of the early career development. Uh, it's so unfair to the people who went through like Metcalf mentorships because I know some really awesome people who thought it was Yes, I also know some really good partners. Oh, yeah. But did the people who hired them also want to offload some labor to, <laughs> to them? <laughs> For sure. And whether or not their organizations actually run by virtue of having someone to offload that labor onto. Oh, it's getting mm -hmm. hot. <laughs> <sighs> What, uh, what's our points like now? So I go from well, I believe you've got nine and Jenna's got six because you just got a Met Metcalf. And How much was that Metcalf up. worth? Uh, six points. Oh, it's, it's only six. One. Oh, never mind. So you're at five to six. I, I will let that be. Which means... Because I, I don't have any cards. You don't have anything else to do. <laughs> so, Maddie, that means that you are unfortunately going to lose... Your uh, your craps last vape. No. But you don't lose those grants because you've got operating funding. Awesome. That goes to the, the graveyard, so that's two out of three projects down now, right? Two out of three projects down. Yeah. So maybe okay. keep that card underneath Soul Pepper, uh, Maddie. Remember. Oh and yes, thank you. And your Shumka show uh, closes and takes a break. Yeah. Takes a a much needed rest. Uh, and Patrick, what is the score? Uh, the current score is that one point is going from Ontario to Alberta. 26. That is Done. the current score. And so, Jenna, uh, that was your turn, which means that we are... I mean, in... I could strategic plan, but I have zero cards. <laughs> exactly. So, no planning. Uh, no planning for you. Maddie, it is your turn, though, now concept phase Thank you. and just to interject uh i just want to check in with our players about a bathroom break we have been playing for over an hour and a half now uh do either of you want to or need to uh take a bathroom break or fiber i'm i'm still good to go let's check in again in 20 minutes yeah yeah okay. for sure yes check in okay again. <laughs> sounds good all right over to you maddie i'm gonna drink some water first hey um, I'm going to uh, get rid of two cards and draw five more. Really making this difficult for Milton, Maddie. Seven. Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I, get, I get so nervous. You've had a tough time with companies in uh, in Toronto 
over there. Maddie, you've only got two uh, for a long time. application phase. Um, right now, um, um, because I have no, I don't really need to, oh, actually, I do need to roll a grant for grants. Uh, why not theater? I'm rolling for it right now. I need a one to five. Okay. And I got a one. Okay. So it wins one grant. Omelette du Fromage can now open. Um, and then I also play the project Hot Garbage. A piece about those hot summer days where the trash bags waiting on the side of the street smell so putrid that your nose hairs set on fire. And it is a um, poetic um, piece Ooh, and poet. it can also open. Because it's poetic, it's worth five points. Okay. Uh, both omelette du fromage and hot garbage are open. Okay, so omelette du fromage is what when it's open, Maddie? Uh, what is omelette the full du point? The full point, it's 10. It's worth 10 points. It's 10 and hot garbage five. is five. Yes. So you have three choices across from you. Uh, which, which one do you want to compete with? Um, let's see. Which ones are the closed ones, Jenna? Uh, Dildo and Anus is closed. The 94 and residential school is in development. Okay. So... You just like when I say the Anus is closed, don't you? <laughs> uh, when something is in development, you can't roll to open it, yes? You need to no, you this. cannot, no. Okay. How much are each of those shows worth, Jenna? Uh, not much, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> uh, the 94 is worth five in development. Dildo and Anus is closed and worth four. And uh, Residential School is worth three in development. All right. Um, I can only attack once, right? With each... Each company thing. gets to... Each project and company gets to attack once. Okay. Good to know. Let's see... Should I do? And dildo and anus is worth five? Uh, it's worth four closed and six open. Four closed and six open. All right. Um, Still funny. <laughs> I want to attack dildo and anus. Gently. Okay. Uh, so, I, Jenna, because you've been targeted, uh, you get to roll to reopen. <laughs> Sorry, what's the show that I'm rolling to reopen? You're deciding whether or not you want to reopen Dildo and Anus. Ah, okay, great. Well, thank you. Um, it requires odds to reopen. Okay. Uh, I got a six, so it does not reopen. It's going to stay closed. No. Uh, but it can still be targeted by uh, Maddie's... Which show are you targeting, Maddie? Uh, um, I'm going wait. to do Omelette du Fromage. Okay. Omelette du Fromage against Dildo and Anus. A 10 against a 4... That is the current point difference. Maddie, how do you want to lead this competition? Do you want to play something or do you want to defer? Yes, I do. I want to play Big City Blues. Everyone you know is depressed, burning out, and thinking about moving to Kingston, Ottawa, or possibly even Halifax. So this brings your points down to f minus four. So, sorry, it's minus four points. It's minus four, so it's a 10 to a zero currently because uh, you're closed right now. So Jenna, how do you want to respond? Uh, I have a trap on the table. Yes, that's true. Do you want to play it? Uh, omelette du fromage versus, what's the other one later? Hot you, garbage? Hot garbage. Omelette du fromage is a 10, and hot garbage is a 5. Uh, or sorry, uh, yes. And so right now the score difference between omelette du fromage and your Shumka show is 10. It's 10 to 0. Yeah, well, I mean, that doesn't matter. Uh, I have a trap. That's my, that's all that matters. Um, Do you want to play the trap or not? 
Uh, I want to know what Hot Garbage is a poetic show. Does it have anything else? Just poetic. Hot Garbage isn't competing against you right now. It's... I know, but I want to know. Oh, that. I understand. It's poetic. Great. So I get a plus four bonus. That's fine. But it's nothing else that doesn't have another category. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, we'll just play the trap because got nothing else to do. Okay. What does it do? Uh, it's the sensitive ears one, which is why it matters what kind of project it is. Ah, I understand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So TYA, traditional, all other projects minus one. So just minus it, one. Just minus one. So the difference is a nine to a zero yeah. uh, right now. Uh, Maddie, how do you want to respond? Do you want to play anything else or do you want to call that the end of this competition? Actually, before we go on, Jenna, can you tell us what that card is? Oh yeah, I could do that. Um, Sensitive ears is that people are complaining that people are saying fuck in your show. (gasps) But I only say Opelet du Frabage in my show. (laughs) (laughs) They heard that after rehearsing backstage, he forgot his lines, garnered a complaint. (laughs) It's the tech in the bag, just like. Uh, <laughs> stage anyway, manager losing. Uh, yes, losing stage, there's a stage manager missing cues. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> um, we love stage managers. Uh, That's true. Maddie, uh, you're down one, so it's nine to zero. What do you want to do? I want to end the competition there. I okay. send Big City Blues to my graveyard. So that's nine points going from Jenna to Maddie, making the current score. 17. Which means that Maddie has taken the lead for the first time in a long time. Uh, so Maddie, your Ahmed de Fromage is closed now, but yes. you have one more project on the table that must compete. Does Dildo and Anus go away now? Sadly, Dildo and Anus is gone. So this is all gone. So this was the second project for Shumka. So that okay. means Grant's operating everything goodbye. Grant's operating gone and company to the graveyard. Goodbye. Goodbye, Shumka. Uh, many great memories will be had uh, and enjoyed thinking back on the slick, shaved Nenshi is Menshi. It's true. Musical. Ukrainian dance show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Maddie, uh, it's still your turn. Um, Jenna, can you remind me how much the two projects in your... Um... Uh, five and three. Five and three. Yeah. Um, and does the five one have a bonus of any sort? Nope. No? Okay. Um, hot garbage. And I can play a strategy card when I'm on the offensive. For the yes, first you can. Time. You can play a plus or a minus. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to play... Um, nudes. Oh, My, nice. uh, they they saw the the pictures from your <laughs> run and they're like, we got a wax too. It's in the budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, that's for hot garbage. And so now it's worth nine points. So Just imagining like sexy and, and slick sexy against your around. project that's worth five. <laughs> so that is a eleven to a five. Is that correct? Yes. So 11 to five, Jenna, it's your response. Five serving 11. My cards are burned. No cards, unfortunately. So that means that uh, the competition is over and six points are going to go from Jenna to Maddie. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. But I don't, this doesn't, the 94 stays 11. in development because it still had points, right? Uh, no, if it has been defeated, it is defeated. Um, well, it's gone now. It is Goodbye. also gone, yes. Goodbye. But it is just a hit against the Citadel. It's fine. Uh, okay. For my strategy, I play this card. Conservative government. Some people have chosen for Alberta. Um, companies, and for all, actually the whole nation. This happens companies, to everyone. Yes. Companies cannot receive new grants for two rounds. Brutal. And neither you uh, And kind of apropos, given the current uh, premiers of your respective provinces. Mm-hmm. Hot garbage is now closed. Yes. Uh, so that is the end of your turn, Maddie. And we are over to Jenna, where it's your concept phase. Uh, and no grants for two rounds. Two rounds. Woof. Milton, do you want to throw that up into the top of our uh, yeah, UI topic. display? Yes. 
Do you want me to wait to draw these cards so you can also no, hit them? No, no, that's okay. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to multitask. Okay. I'll... <laughs> Who shuffled these? <laughs> uh, goodness gracious. Well... Uh, and so I, there's no, if I were to move to the application phase, yes, I will move to the application phase. I cannot roll for grant. You cannot roll for grant, though there might be an instant card that you have that allows you to do something. I, there, there might those be, do there, exist, but I don't know if you have them. It's, there isn't right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the application phase ends. Yeah. We go to production uh, phase and there's nothing and this, to do in that. <laughs> yeah, this needs another grant to open, so it's just gonna hang out. Uh, Which means that we are going to move through those phases to the strategic planning phase. Yeah. And wait out the sad years. Wait out the sad in years. Which art is maligned by conservative forces. Indeed. Um I I will I'll just hold my cards. Okay, great. And Maddie, uh, tides have changed, uh, it seems, but uh, let's see what, what comes next for you. It's not the first time I've been backed into a corner. So. <laughs> I'm going to discard one card and draw five. You'll get it one day, Milton. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot going on on this side. I was just thinking I, about the waxing and how I do know an actor who had an allergic reaction to a company provided wax. Oh no. Uh, oh, no. Can you and write that, that into Yeah, you would just put that in costuming, right? Like costume materials? Presumably, like if part of the costume is to be undressed. I guess you'd probably have to have that in a contract for up front. That would be the so, respectful thing to do. Continuing sorry. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry everybody. I was just looking. I play my um, Theater Pass Arrive, which has a granting power of one to five, and its keywords are multicultural, Canadian, and has a project limit of three. Wow. Mm -hmm. Theater Pass Arrive just announced their new season. Mm -hmm. It's totally stacked. Yeah, um, Marjorie. Mm -hmm. um, and I also play Flato Performance Incorporated. Cool. Uh, which uh, has three, a grant power of one to three, has a project limit of two, and its keywords are experimental and visceral. And Fado is like a performance art company, which is based in Toronto. Um, let's see, what am I going to do? Hmm. Right now, I'm going to give um, uh, Fado a production, and it's going to be Streptease. It's a musical on antibiotics where the performers have been yelling for 50 hours a week and already sick. How? Yes, it's a musical, but there's where do you huge have the money to Where do you have the money to do this, Maddie? Or it's in development? Is that you do not, there's no grants allowed oh! because of the government that you helped <laughs> usher in. Yeah. Oh my God, so, I'm, I thought it could be in development. Even No, unfortunately nothing happens without money uh, in our system. And sometimes you have to make the show before you can even get the money to make the show. Okay. Uh, and so, that's all right. Um, so you can't roll for any of the companies that you've just put down, but you do have some shows that already are fully funded. So if you were to uh, decide that you want to reopen them, that is permissible. Yes, I would like to reopen them. Uh, Jenna, how much is the card that's the project in play worth? Three. 
Three. Okay. Um, it's cold. I this would is like the, to this is the clawback, the conservative government and the clawback. She was <laughs> claw, as you spoke about the claw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd like to play uh, reopen hot garbage. I need to re roll evens to reopen. I have rolled a six. Hot garbage is back. Hot the value of five, is, is that correct? Yes. And I would like to target um, the project that has a value of three. Residential school, I believe it is. Is that right, Jenna? That's right. So it's five serving three. Hot garbage coming at residential school. This just sounds complicated. Naked mm -hmm. hot garbage. Uh, That's true. From Toronto. Uh, Maddie, how do you want to lead this competition? Um, right now, I, oh, there's a trap option that you have, right, Jenna? Nope, her trap oh, oh, is empty. Sorry. Thank you. Um, I, it's five against three. Right now, I, I won't do anything. Okay, deferred to Jenna. Jenna, how do you want to respond? Uh, uh, with a backstage backstab, someone spread rumors about your rehearsal period being dysfunctional. Ooh. Minus four. Minus four. All that Down. garbage. Down to one uh, for hot garbage and still a three. So it's one serving three now, Maddie. All right. I would like to play the unrehearsal. Your work has become so process oriented that people can't tell if they've just seen a rehearsal or a show. Their confusion turns into dissatisfaction. Minus how many points? Minus four points. Minus four points. So we got minus one serving one. Only positive integers will be kept in terms of the transfer of community points. But what uh, what's the situation, Jenna? We'll just we'll just leave it. We're just gonna just gonna leave it. Okay. So that means that one point is going to go from Jenna to Maddie, making twenty five. Twenty-five to ten, as the voice said, uh, and that unfortunately is the end of residential school. Uh, that means that this lunchbox is closed now too. Yes, it is. And Banff is gone as well. Banff is mm -hmm. gone as well. Whoops, over here, and then government money. I'm just gonna make Indeed. punctuate go over here for a nice, tidy play area. And so, Maddie, your project closes. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I want to roll to reopen omelette du fromage. Okay. I need to roll evens. I rolled a five, so it does not reopen. No, it does not. Which is possibly a good, Jenna, is that like a moment? <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I have another wacky card. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So, Maddie, uh, what do you want to do now? It's your strategic planning phase. Um, my strategic planning phase. What am I going to do? Oh, sorry, I have to put this in below. Is that a card that you accidentally picked back up? No, no, no. I, I, I needed to send it, send it to the graveyard. Right. Hmm. Sorry, what card did you just send to the graveyard? It was. It was, uh, sorry, the card that I just played, which was the unrehearsal. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. Just grave. making sure. Um, so. Um, right now I play a strategy card. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what will happen. I want to play um, new artistic director and I target Jenna. You, Jenna, you must return the card in your hand to your deck shuffle and draw the same amount of cards that you had okay uh all of them one two three four five six six cards yes all return, of them, yeah. return to the deck not to the discard to the deck okay and then shuffle my deck is getting mighty thin yes yes as you do as you do that shuffle i'll explain that uh this is not one of those games where the first person who runs out of their deck like the game ends we huh. play until we cannot play anymore. Okay. Well, so. I feel shuffled. 
Okay, Draw so you, you had six cards before, so take six out right now. Okay. And Maddie, I believe that's the end of your turn, correct? Yes, that is the end of my turn. Okay, so Jenna, uh, concept phase, discard, draw. I'm just gonna check in about the washroom quickly. Uh, how are you two feeling? I think I wanna use the washroom. Okay. Shall yeah. we take a well then uh, we're gonna few minutes, come back? Okay. Keep and us we entertained. Want to Let's yeah, do that. good. All right. So Patrick, it's just you and me over here. Uh, I switched over camera, so it's just you and I. Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I guess what should we we don't have anything, we don't have any commercial breaks, but one thing that we should note is can you spotlight Jenna's table view actually for us? Right now. And we just want to you know, let everyone know that if you've been following the culture capital uh, development over the last number of years or months, uh, that this is an example of the play mat that we developed oh, for great. our February tournament in Edmonton. Uh, it's quite stylish, quite blue. Blue, mm -hmm. purple. Blue. Blue, Navy colorblind. Blue. Still colorblind. Uh, and uh, it's very nice that uh, we could include it in this match. Oh, hey, you know what? Mariah Horner's watching. Oh, hey, Mariah. Hey. Okay. Very good explaining, Patrick. I love the drama, she says. Can you please read more of the stuff that are in the feed? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, everyone. Maddie, these sunglasses are also from Mariah. A uh, whole bunch of other people were watching. Uh, Mental Plucker, good to see you. Uh, I'm sorry if I miss you. My comments are very messy right now, but... Um, yeah, and uh, thank you to April Lung as well, who's running our social media right now as we uh, do this game. That's great. Yeah. Uh, but yes, we do have play mats, um, and hopefully we'll have them back because right now they are stuck in Edmonton uh, because when we did our full tournament over there, um, they got left behind and could not be retrieved due to COVID. So one of those days, uh, one of these days, we'll come back and we'll get it or we'll get it shipped. I have the one. Who knows? Uh, what else can we tell people about where this is going? Well, the next stop is possibly the prairies. Mm -hmm. If you're in the prairies and you're watching this, uh, reach out because we want to talk to you about how value is determined and produced and shifted within the Winnipeg, Regina and Saskatoon Triangle. And we're also looking to head to Whitehorse in 2021 when we can. And if you're in the Maritimes, we also have our eyes set on you for uh, late next year into 2022. So please get in touch. Um, we're crunching numbers now. If you're a number cruncher and you like crunching numbers, uh, then <laughs> please help us because it's a lot of data that we go through to uh, determine the grant probability for all of the companies. Uh, and it's also a very insightful experience to find out who has what and how they got it. And how it's changed over the years. Um, yeah. Some people have said to us that uh, this game is um, performing a certain historic way in which the arts uh, used to function now. Okay. So we will see how that goes. Hey, Maddie, um, our players back are game. back <laughs> and back to the game. Uh, thank you so much for the commercial break. and. Right now, I just want to remind you that the Conservative government is still active for one more round. And Jenna, it is your turn in your concept phase. And also for our players, please unmute. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Um, this is fun. Uh, uh, okay, my brain hurts. Uh, I'm going to discard a card, uh, which leaves me with one, two, three, four, five. But I think I think I can play an orange question mark anytime, right? You can. Do you have to draw cards, Jenna? Yes. That's why I want to play oh. this card first. Okay, so you've sorry. discarded, everything happens in a linear order in this game. So you've discarded cards. And if you want to play a, an orange card right now, sure. Let's see. Do I happens. forfeit my drawing? Is that what happens? Uh, nope. 
No, not necessarily. Typically, one would discard, then pick up, and then play that card. But I just want to uh, play it, it so I can pick card. to pick up more cards. If it's an instant card, then let's see what happens. Yeah, it's an instant card. It's the Edmonton Fringe, Ooh. Uh, uh, which is just that I can play a project without a company and without grants. Okay, great. So yes, you can play that now. Okay, so I'm going to put that, and does that immediately allow me to play the project? So I would like you to play that in your company line somewhere, just or just like on the table so that we can see it for reference. I think, did you just discard it or? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, the Edmonton Fringe. Yes, yeah, that can so just be here. Just so that we reference. can see where it is or play it as a grant maybe. Uh, and yes, you can play a project onto the table right now. So, But that is not going to compete until production phase. Totally, it makes sense. Okay. So this is uh, uh, wax it, but it's but the nature of the Edmonton Fringe card, you is play the project without uh, company and without grants. So it's open and then the project must go to the graveyard at the end of the turn. Yeah. So it's I've just played the project, it's open. I have three cards, so I'm going to draw seven, or not seven, draw four. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. Okay, here you go. Great. Uh, lovely. I made a mistake in oh. my deck building, which is okay. very a fun thing to discover right now, uh, which is just that I was doing like direct sub outs company for company. So like a grant power of one got subbed out for a grant power of one. Okay. But I've duplicated a company in my hand by accident. Interesting. Yes. Uh, technically, we would say that there are no duplicate companies allowed. And so I think we're going to need to stand by that rule. Yeah, that that's an error. Needs to go to your graveyard. Yeah. So should I just discard it right away? So it's I would say hand? let's jettison it and pretend it like we accidentally left the Joker in the deck and pretend like it never happened, in which case you were picking up to seven cards and go from there. Great. So should I pick one more or just leave it at this? I would say you're picking one more because we're going to pretend like it was a joker that was left. Never happened. It's gone. By the dealer. <laughs> My mistake. Uh, whoopsies. Uh, okay, great. So uh, now we would move into the application phase. We cannot roll for grants. So exactly. nothing happens. And that means we move into the production phase. That's true. And Wexit is open. Uh, you know, the fringe artists don't necessarily feel the blow of the lack of federal funding or government True. funding. So it's open at full strength of, I believe, one. Of, of one. Of one. So who on the other side of the table is uh, Wexit targeting? Uh, so what are your points? What are the points for those puppies? Black garbage is worth five points. Mm -hmm. uh, it's closed, its base point is one, but because I have Hot Topic Poetic on, it's worth five. Omelette du fromage is worth eight points. So we're gonna Based. go for hot garbage. Okay, because it's been targeted, Maddie, you can try to reopen your hot garbage. Okay, I'm gonna try and reopen it. I need to roll evens. I rolled a three, so it stays closed. It stays closed. So one to five. That is correct. Uh, so I'm gonna play uh, Quiet Revolution. You've success. I've successfully uh, slipped woke ideas into non-woke content, uh, and the conservatives in the crowd have not noticed. Fitting for the current government. Hey. So that takes Wexit to a seven. Against my five. Mm -hmm. Great. I'd like to respond to that with the, an all Indigenous cast. The future is indigenous, you get it. Hot garbage, yes. How much is hot garbage now? Like eight. Uh, it's worth, uh, it's worth five base plus eight, so it's worth a 13. 13, so our current score is 13 to? Seven. Seven. Uh, I will uh, also. Wait, keep that on the table, Maddie, just so we can remember it. Thank you. Thank you. 
13 to seven. Well, I mean, I will uh, add some sweet, sweet youth engagement. Um, mm. So my project also supports the next generation of young artists, which adds four, which makes it a respectable 11. 11, 11 to 13, 13 to 11. Maddie, how do you want to respond? I don't want to respond yet. You don't want to respond, which means that you're still going to take this competition. Two points from Jenna. 20, 27. Maddie. And unfortunately, all goes away. All goes away. Exactly. Um, now, uh, just as a sidebar here, I'm pretty sure we made that quiet revolution, Jenna, after I saw the Vertigo theater show that you made last year. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Just as, a, just as a shout out to you and the work <laughs> that you were doing in that context, I'm pretty sure I came home and I was like, this, we have to make this card. Um, oh, that's amazing. Because that is, yeah, Sherlock Holmes is not uh, known for being woke, is it? There's that moment of like, by the way, you're all in the room and this speech about like Chinese heritage is coming straight at you funders. And uh, it was great. Thanks. So, uh, what continuing was the on. show called again? Uh, Sherlock Holmes and the Raven's Curse. It uh, uh, was supposed to also go up at Shaw this year, but it but Craig's production, not my production. Ah, oh, really? Um, well, I saw yours. It was great. So <laughs> I uh, where we what just happened now is that Jenna, you were on the offense. Is that correct? That's so, right. So unfortunately, you've lost your show while on offense, but it's still your turn. Strategic planning is up for you. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, great. I'll set a I'll set a trap. And Maddie, it's back to you. Awesome. Um, is the conservative government still on? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, so... yes? yes. Yep. This Just is for the this last. one this turn. Is the last one, and then Jenna gets to go. Exactly. If if I do, if I survive, because I am it's feeling true. You are awfully, in a very precarious situation. Awfully pessimistic right now. <laughs> I draw, I draw five cards. Start. Awesome. for grants. However, um, I play Fujian Theater. Shout out hey. to Fujian. Um, one to three granting points. Fujian Theater is uh, an Asian Canadian theater company based in Toronto. And um, the project limit is two and their keywords are multicultural and diaspora. It's pretty good granting that power. Like Since a former professional life. grant writer as an artistic director goes a long mm. way. Yeah. <laughs> Since I can't apply for grants, I'm going to try and reopen my two shows. Okay. Um, right now, I'm going to try and reopen um, Hot Garbage, which is, I need to roll even, it's actually for both of them to reopen. So this is Hot Garbage. It's a four, so it opens. And Omelette du Fromage. I get a three for that one. But does not reopen. Uh, but we are now again in a competition with the formerly naked, all indigenous cast performing hot garbage. Uh, it is five against zero at this point. Maddie, how do you want to begin this competition for Jenna's points directly? love hot garbage. I'm just going to attack. People um, do love hot garbage. <laughs> I'm just going to, um, let's see, I can't target projects because there's no project on Genesis. Yes. That's true. But you could target your own project if you wanted if to. I wish. I'm going to just attack directly. Okay. So that's five to zero. Jenna, how are you going to respond? Uh, it's the trap. 
It's the trap. What's the trap? Uh, the trap is a new Canadian play. You know what that means. Uh, it's, it's just one less than you had expected. All right. So I... Uh, You've got a four, Maddie. Four. How do you want to respond to that? Uh, I don't... I will... I shall not respond. You shall not respond. Okay. You'll just take the fact that you've made a new Canadian play and... It's called hot garbage. <laughs> Call hot garbage. <laughs> Back, there's no subtext. So there's no times. subtext at all in any of this. <laughs> so yeah, goodness, uh, an all indigenous, naked, hot garbage New Canadian play. Wow. Yeah. So that's yeah. four points? Yeah. Four points. Uh, maybe 20, 20, 20, 30, 30, 31. 31 for Maddie, four for Jenna. If you're watching the live stream, you can rewind to the point in which it was seemed like the complete opposite. Uh, Maddie, I mean, it had also seemed like this before too. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So it could go, it could totally flip back and we're in for another two and a half hours. Uh, Maddie, how do you want to uh, perform your strategic planning at this time? I would like to set a trap. And I'm gonna put away the conservative government card and send it to the graveyard. Thank you. And I can play another strategy card if I wanted to, yes? Yes, you can, as long as it's gray. Mm, okay. Uh, I shall end my turn. Okay, Jenna. Uh, sweet. Um. I'm gonna discard two and draw five. Great. Uh, uh, okay, so um, uh, the Citadel gets a grant because they have a Citadel and Punctuate is gonna need to roll one or a two. They rolled a two. Hey, Shiny. I get a grand. Oh, the conservative reign is over for one hot minute. Welcome, Rachel Notley. Uh, to the scene. Um, uh, great, great, uh, great. Um, what am I doing? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna play, uh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I am gonna get some projects in development here. Uh, so uh, we're gonna get Popo uh, hanging out with the Citadel. Uh, this sounds loosely reminiscent of Catalyst Show, but it's a musical rendition of Edgar Allan Poe's uh, biography, but with a crime drama twist. The undercover cop is actually a Chinese grandmother. Popo. Paw paw. Who mm -hmm, knows? Mm -hmm. uh, so that is in development at the Citadel. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to look at this mass reading in development for Punctuate. Uh, a political performance in which the audience commits to reading the Quran on mass. It is in development. It is worth three points in development, but also has a political boost of three points. So it is worth six points in development. Wow. Wow. Okay. So wait, sorry, uh, mass reading is six and the other one is how much Four. in development? Four in development. Great to know. Okay. Any strategic planning you want to do, Jenna? Oh, good question. What a great question. I love <laughs> these questions. Companies are asked this all the time. Uh, <laughs> how am I supposed to plan for things? <laughs> I love strategic planning so much. Um, I talked to my board and they told me to set a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great. So, Maddie. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and that was great. <laughs> um, hmm. I would I love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> AGI is like, so why don't you just set a trap? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for audiences, build a hole and they'll fall in and then do your show when they're in there. Yeah, it's definitely a build a hole kind of trap. That's what they told me to build for sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to discard one card and draw three cards. All right. 
legs. Sorry, I need to read all read through these now. Okay, um, I'm going to partner um, I'm going to partner um, let's see. I'm going to partner Fujian with Summerworks. Changes okay. their granting power to four. So these are partnered. And I'm going to vote for grants now that the conservative government is out of power. Um, I'm going to roll for Theater Pass Marai, which has a granting power of one to five. I got a four. I'm going to roll for Fujian Theater, which uh, partnered with Summerworks has a granting power of one to four. I got a two. And I'm going to roll for Claro Performance Incorporated, which has a granting power of one to three. And I got a four, so Claro doesn't win anything this time. And that's okay. Um, for my production phase, I'm going to play the Umpire Trilogy. This show is rated R for injectable substances, dark comedy, hot dogs, locker talk, nightmares, sexual content, guns, and exploding toxic ideas of what it means to be a man, a city, and a bird. <laughs> so, um, it is in development with Theater Pass for I. Uh, it is feminist and poetic. The hot topic right now is poetic, so it is worth nine points in, de in development. Um... And I'm also going to play. Hmm. This music is so tense. I'm going to play Quarantini. Digital dating meets drinking game in this one on one performance about love, limits, and personal boundaries. And that's going to be Fujian Theater Show, and it's in development. And what's it's worth the two points. What's the topic? Whimsical and tech. Cool. Um, I am going to see. Oh, so I you've got up. all of these shows that are in development. You've got two new shows that are in development, and you've got two shows that are closed. Is that right, Maddie? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to, however, try and reopen. Hot garbage. Oh no no. Let's do omelette du fromage. Okay. I got evens. It's a four. Okay. So omelette du fromage is open, and I'm going to try and open hot garbage as well. And I got a two. So hot garbage is open as well. Oh. Anna, how much are your shows worth? I am so. Uh, I, I feel the impeding dread. Um, uh, uh, Popo is worth four, and mass reading is worth six. Okay. Um, Popo is worth four. Uh, Omelette de Mofromage is worth ten, so I'm going to attack the one that's worth four. Okay, so that's Omelette de Fromage against Popo, and. Uh, we've got a six point difference. How do, you, how do you want to begin that competition? How many cards do you have, Jenna? Four. Four? Um... Oh, it's so loud, so I'm just gonna. Um, <laughs> my ears are kind of like a little bit sensitive. <laughs> gotcha. Um, uh, sorry, it's worth four right now? She has a four, and you have a, uh, a ten. Okay, I'm not going to boost anything. Jenna, how are you going to respond? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, why not? The 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 the, the Citadel uh, has been hooking this guy up with an international tour. Ooh, whoa, Pope Poe's going on international tour. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds so, actually very accurate to something like in terms of. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Catalyst. Some Edgar Allan Poe <laughs> tour. Weird. 
<laughs> matured for years and years and years. Yeah. Uh, so that means that it's 14 for Popo and 10 for Omelette du Fromage. Is that right? Or did you start with hot garbage, Maddie? Omelette du Fromage. Right. So 10 to 14. How do you want to respond? I want to respond with keep digging. You publish a letter explaining why your version of cultural appropriation is not like other people's. And you're plus 10, I respond with a minus 10. Ouch. So that means that we're back to a 10 to a 4. Um, it would seem that the Edgar Allan Poe sprinkled with the Chinese grandmother narrative didn't actually land particularly well probably with the Chinese community. Yeah, the Chinese community published a counter open letter. <laughs> Didn't like it very much. Well, I mean, as as this uh, noise continues to happen and the red continues to flash, I, I can at the very least tell you that a random blogger said the show was quite memorable. <laughs> <laughs> so that means that you've got uh, six yeah. to Maddie's ten. Yeah. Uh, that is a four-point difference, <gasps> Jenna, which would be the end of uh, you as we know it. Is there anything else that you wanted to do? the end of me, or if it's just the <laughs> end of this, this game. <laughs> just because to be really a, clear You have here. a trap. You have a trap on your table. i just uh, letting, you know, point oh, at it. Can I just play the trap at any time? The trap can be played during your defensive turn, where you can play a trap and respond as well when you're on defense. Oh, I can play a trap and a, and a card. That this is true. This is so funny. There's not actually been this moment yet in this game, so this is... But oh, well, great. Well, we can activate the trap. That's fine. We can activate the trap, yes. We can activate the trap. We can also activate the trap. It would seem drop. disingenuous to not tell you that this was the case. Thank you. Um, I mean, there's, it's just a drama queen that you have an actor somehow in Ontario stuck on the QE2. <laughs> we're at. So they're not going to make the show, and that's minus four <laughs> on your project. So that means that, Maddie, you've got six, and Jenna, you've got four. Is that correct? Uh... So we do our math again. I have I have six. You have six. What? Oh, oh but I responded with minus ten. I thinking. put plus ten and minus ten. Yeah. Plus and minus ten, those cancel out. Yeah. And then, uh, Jenna, I you add, played. I added two, so I was at. You six. added two, so you're at six. Sorry, that's correct. Yeah. So you there was have a six. point differential of four. Exactly. So then we And then have... I've taken off the four. So now we're tied six and we're six. We're tied six and six. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. So six and six. Maddie, it is your turn to respond to Jenna. I won't respond. You won't respond. Okay. Which means that omelette de fromage... Actually, wait. I can't uh, activate a... No. You cannot. Only... But when two shows end with the same value, as we know, they both cancel each other out. Boom. Which means that... Amet de Fromage, after a very lengthy uh, life, is going to the after graveyard. After an international tour. An international tour. Um, and uh, Citadel's got one more hit against it. Grants go back to the government. And Maddie, it's still your turn. So, <laughs> Hot Garbage uh, awesome. is Hot alive garbage. and well in Toronto. Is worth five points, and I would like to. Do I have to attack the show that it's that's in development right now? Yes, you do, and that show is what, Jenna? It's mass reading, and it's worth three points in development. The mass reading of the Quran. But is it not boosted oh. by the political? Oh yeah, it's worth six. Of... Okay, so it's it five to been. six is the current score. Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing much I can do about that. Um, and I'm not on the defensive, so I have to take the hit. You're going to take the hit, which means that one point is going to go back to Jenna Rogers. And, 30. Uh, that, I believe, is the end of Soul Pepper. Am I yes. correct, Maddie? Goodbye, Soul Pepper. Wow. Uh, all the grants go, the operating funding card goes, and the hot garbage goes. Um, oh, sorry, and Why Not Theater actually has a point against it. Sorry, let me grab yes, the do. card. Well, uh, well survived, mm -hmm. uh, Nice work, Jenna. Nearly impossibly survived. And, uh, uh, Maddie, it's still your turn, so you may play your strategic planning. All right. Um, what can I do? Hmm. That's it for me. 
I just okay. want to see what my trap is. All right, that's it. Jenna. I hope your bladders are holding up okay. Well, we we didn't go on break, so. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm like, are you dying over there? Are you doing okay? I'm good. Okay. I'm going to uh, take off my sheets. Ooh, uh, revealing her true glare. <laughs> 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 to stare her down in the moments of uh uh i i what am i gonna do i am going to uh, draw six i discarded one draw six okay four five six seven okay great what a fun time <laughs> i'm having a fun time um goodness gracious uh, well, I have a workshop West Playwrights Theater, so this is fun. Uh, they have a grant power of four. Okay. Uh, project limit of two. They're plus two for Canadian. That's fun. Uh, and I think, uh, oh, and I also have uh, <laughs> this joke to myself doesn't get old about who shuffled these, but uh, I also have a company that is making Treaty 7. That's very fun. Very good. Uh, granting power of four. Uh, indigenous and political. Nice All right. to, uh, Nice for them to show up in the, <laughs> your companies. It's really good to have these companies right now. That's what I want for sure. Alberta has so many like indigenous, um, indigenous companies in their deck. Yes, well, this is and also, one of four. I guess, the ecosystem. Right. Yeah, I also did have like an indigenous leaning deck. Mm. Yes, you did. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, great. This is great. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a grant for the Citadel because why not? Uh, we're gonna do. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, okay, we'll roll for a grant for uh, Workshop West now, which needs one to four. Uh, it got to four. Uh, and we are going to. Uh, Wait, take your money first. Take my money first. And we're gonna do a project uh, in development called A Cold a cold Read, which is a uh, Canadian and uh, accessible piece, a series of impromptu monologues by performers of all abilities and backgrounds trying to convince you that it's colder where they come from than where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's in development. Uh, and then I'm going to roll for making Treaty 7, which is also grant power 4. I uh, got a 1 there. Uh, so we get some money. Uh, and this uh, is, uh, we're going to do Post Canada, uh, an Indigenous futurist tale about what happens when all settlers get sent back to where they came from. Ooh, yes. <laughs> that uh, is in development. And uh, the Citadel has a grant. You have some cool guys on the table right now. I do. How, how hard do I want to go out fighting? These are the questions I ask myself. And I guess I can roll for punctuate. Uh, yes, I guess you... I will roll for punctuate. Okay. Which has a grant power of two. One or two. The two. Ooh. That's there. That puts mass reading into open, an okay. open state. Um, How much great. is mass reading? Uh, it is uh, worth nine. Nine. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and do you I, want to keep that little money, or do you want to send it back? I, I kind of want to keep the money. Uh, do you have I'm a project just, for it? I'm just trying to decide what to do. Uh, uh, no, we'll send the money back. Okay. Okay. So that means that mass reading is open and must compete. Which of Maddie's productions are you competing with? Uh, Maddie, could you remind us what your two uh, currently- Quarantini. Quarantini. <laughs> Quarantini right now in development is worth two points, and the Umpire Trilogy is worth nine points. OK. 
Okay, so quarantini at a two, umpire at a nine, mass reading also at a nine. Jenna, which are you gonna pick? Quarantini. <laughs> quarantini, all right, so that's a seven point difference. How do you wanna lead that competition, Jenna? I'm gonna let it lie. I'm gonna let it lie. Maddie, how do you wanna respond? I'm going to respond with my trap. Okay. You pre-recorded your land acknowledgement and people thought it felt empty and impersonal. You lose four points. Your nine four. goes back down to a five. Nine to five. So that means the current difference is three. Jenna, how do you want to respond? I don't. You don't, which means that uh, three points are going back to Jenna from Maddie. Making 20, 20, 20, 27. 27 to eight. Quarantini is gone. And the money goes back to the government. And that is a mark against their company. Fujen! Fujen. Oh. It's a strangely misaligned show, really. It's true. If only they had Popo. If only they had Popo. Jenna, your show is in a close position now yes. and it's your strategic planning. Uh, congratulations on clawing or whatever verb you're using uh, for we're how sharing you sharing the community you're sharing exactly sharing, redistributing, yeah. redistributing balancing well, uh, I know you want a bathroom break too <laughs> nope I'm totally good Milton I'm good fine. yeah we're good I'm good uh, so how how do you want to go next uh, uh, I, I am good okay Maddie I am going to draw four cards Times have changed on your uh, field over there, Maddie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Toronto Dance Theater, uh, which has a granting power of one to six. Um, hmm. I'm going to give it. I enter the application phase. Yeah. I give Toronto Dance Theater a grant. Right now, I want to roll for Theater Pass for I need a one to five. And I get a four. So it gets another grant towards the Umpire Trilogy. Do you want to roll um, for anyone else? Toronto Dance Theater this card. It, I'm going to play the project Strep Tease. A musical on antibiotics where the performers have been yelling for 50 hours a week and are already sick. So it's a dance musical. Uh, the keyword is musical. In development, it's worth two points. Okay. Lay that down. Um, since I can't open any of my projects, I'm going to go to strategic planning. Okay. Hmm. Awesome. I set a trap. And I also play the card, another big anniversary. From my graveyard, take a project of your choice and put it back in your hand. So I'm just going to look it's the return of hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> what will it be oh, that she? What will it be? It's a project or is it? A project. Project, yeah. Just One of those classic that. anniversary seasons. Well, well Maddie's well, flipping through. A genuine yep. question: What happens when my draw pile is empty? We keep playing. But like, where do I draw from? I you can't draw. Wrong. There's nothing more to draw. Yeah. No, you have to play with what's on the table, and if it becomes apparent what has happened in the past is someone says that they forfeit the match, or like they, that they're done. That they're done. Um, yeah. But There's in most no... cases, you'll know 
you'll be able to continue on with whatever companies are on the, the board at that time. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'll, I'll take this moment to shout out to Aaron Jan, who has been incessantly posting Yu-Gi-Oh references, uh, <laughs> which are absolutely correct. And thank you for doing that. Yes. <laughs> uh, hey, I could check the uh, Carrie Mitchell and the Westbury Theater for hooking me up with this sweet, sweet map. Indeed. This is uh, just for anyone who's tuning in again. This is one of the limited edition classic culture capital mats. <laughs> Currently not actually available for sale, but let us know if you want one. Yeah. Uh, Maddie, how's your research going on over there? Um, pretty good. I'm just looking for the card that I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. What's more worth it? <laughs> Only, you the question. Only you will know. Only you will know. We're not going to answer in the private chat at all. <laughs> so. hmm. How many hours can you spend at your desk during COVID? All right. <laughs> well, if we're I doing games like the, these, <laughs> like who knows? I found the project that I want. I have put it in my hand. Okay. And I end my turn. Over Thank you. you. Jenna. Uh, I am just going to draw what I think are my last four cards. Great. Fun fact for you, Maddie. This is you the also have one. another big anniversary. Oh. <laughs> uh, do I? Um, great. <laughs> uh, uh, I, okay, so um, I have uh, the Ad Hoc Collective. Ooh. Ah, wondering when they might show up. Yeah. The Ad Hoc Collective is um, a company where you roll once to determine their grant power and then again to determine their project limits. So that's fun. So let's do that. Let's do that. And definitely like something you really want at the end of the game. For sure. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, but their grant power is five. Ooh, wow. Not bad. Uh, and I'm writing it down for myself. And their project limit is three. Ooh. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty standard, That's pretty strong decent company. Pretty strong company. So, what a what a fun time we find ourselves in. Uh, okay. So I'm I'm just in this place where I have, I can roll for grants. Yes, you can. Uh, well, this, this, uh, the Citadel gets one, which I may or may not keep, but we'll just take it for my little brain. Why not? Um, uh, I'm gonna roll for Workshop West, which needs uh, up to four, one to four. We'll roll, we got a five, so nothing. We'll roll for Making Treaty Seven, which also needs a one to four. We got a four. So that gets a grant and this opens. Uh, and for Ad Hoc Collective, they need between a one and a five, right? So that's right. I'm just kind of seeing if there's anything in my hand I want to play with right now. And Maddie's got two projects on the deck. So I think I'm not going to roll for a grant for ad hoc right now, but I am going to, I would like to roll to see if I can reopen mass reading. Okay. So mass reading needs odds. It's a five. So it does. Oh. And before we move on, we just need to know whether or not you are going to return that Citadel funding or put something else. Into uh, we're going to return it. Okay. I'm just play with these two. Okay, great. So we've got two shows. We've got Mass Reading and... Uh, Post Canada. Post Indigenous... Canada. Oh, that's not true. It doesn't open. I was a liar because it needs three grants to open. So it's still ah. in development. Okay. Can you switch it around to be stop sign up? Thank you. Thanks. Very good. So that means we've just got mass reading open. That's right. With a value of nine. Nine. Targeting which of Maddie's productions? Uh, we have 
I'm so scared of this umpire trilogy. Uh, so it's also worth nine. I know. Uh, so I think we're just gonna. I'm gonna target the Toronto Dance Theater. That's the strep tease. Strep tease, indeed. Uh, which is worth two in development, right? Yes. So it's so a I'm nine just... to a two. We'll let that stand. We'll let it stand. All right. So it's been deferred to you, Maddie. How do you want to respond? I would to like situation? to respond with my trap. Okay. Your show was an all-white cast. Ooh. It's not wrong, but you lose six points. Which puts it down to three against two. And Maddie, are you just playing that trap or anything else since you are on defense? Yes. That's actually, I'm going to respond. So three against two, right? Yep, it's three to two. I'm going to play free money. I found $5 on the ground and put it towards the project. Plus one point and we're tied. No way. <laughs> okay. Which means that free money is making this a uh, tie game right now. Jenna, how do you want to respond? Also found five bucks on the ground. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Scrambling artists as though that's <laughs> using $5 bills to determine who's better than the other person. <laughs> it's too I real. I shall keep it. You're going to take it? Um, yeah. You're going to lose one community to Jenna then. Uh, 26 to 7 is the current score. Mass reading. 26. Uh, strep tease. 26 to 9, yeah? Forever. So 26 to 9. Strep tease is gone. Thank you. Uh, that's one point against Toronto Dance Theater. Money back to government. My... What does your draw pile look like? Oh, you still got a good amount left. I do. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of Jenna's turn now. Yeah, yeah we're closed, uh, and I enter into uh, uh, strategic planning uh, for which I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Okay. Maddie, what is your strategy? Um, I'm going to draw four cards. losing count of how many cards I'm drawing at the one time. Uh, let's see. I'm going to play the company. How many companies can we have? You can have a max of five companies, which means that you can play no more companies. If you want to play a company, you must burn one of the companies that you currently have in play. All right. OK, thank you. Now I must roll for grants. Let's see, wait. Imagine if all this music were just live fully. Wow. <laughs> Would that give it a plus or like? <laughs> <laughs> like give me something <laughs> to watch Milton. <laughs> I mean, the dancing is entertaining. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna roll for Toronto Dance Theater. Okay. Oh, I, I don't need to because it has a one to six. So I'm just gonna put a grand stick there. Um, I'm going to roll for CN Power. Sorry, uh, why not theater? Oh my gosh. I'm, I, I'm getting to the end of my like sharp thinking. Uh, and why not theater has the grand power of one to five. And I rolled a six, so unfortunately oh. we don't get a grant. And right now I'm going to roll for theater pass for I. Grand power of one to five. I got a five. <laughs> oh! The Empire Trilogy is open. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put down, uh, since Toronto Dance Theater has a um, card, a grant, I'm going to put down for in development, returning, Craps Last Vape. Oh. I think it's gonna be more relevant now. Um, so in development, <laughs> it's worth four. And it's plus four for the hot topic, so right now it's worth eight points. 
Uh, Umpire Trilogy is worth 14 points. Um... We are heading into your production phase. Is that correct, Maddie? That is correct. Okay, so who on Jenna's side is Umpire Trilogy in competition with? Um, right now... Um... You have a 14. Jenna, which... What are your projects right now? Uh, mass reading is closed, so it has the possibility of reopening. And closed, it is worth a seven. Okay. Uh, cold read in development is worth six, and post Canada in development is also worth six. fourteen to six, six or seven, seven, possibly a nine if it's reopened. I believe. That's right. How many oh. cards do you have in your hand, Jenna? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Five of them. <laughs> It's oh, becoming nice. a very sort of like distressing question of like. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. 18. I'm cheating. Hmm. Um, okay. I'd like to attack one of the cards that have, that's worth six points. Which one um, would you like to compete with? Is there a company that already has a boo-boo against them? No. A boo-boo. <laughs> That's my vocabulary is right. failing. All of my <laughs> processing power is going towards the end game. Um, the end game is close. I can feel it. A 14 point. <laughs> hey, um, the artist life is about stamina. <laughs> Hang um, in there. What's the one worth six points again? What you can either points? target Workshop West Playwrights Theater and their cold read, where it's a competition about how cold you are. Uh, we're making Treaty 7 and their post-Canada futurist tale where settlers go back to where they came. Oh man. Let's get rid of Gold Reed because I think the other show is really awesome. Okay. Uh, I hope it exists. <laughs> um, so, Umpire Trilogy worth 14 points against Gold Six. Six. 14 to six. Maddie, you get to lead this competition. Do you want to add any value to your production, Umpire Trilogy? I won't. You won't. Jenna, how will you respond? I mean, that would leave me with one point still. It would. Uh, uh, the weird thing about Cold Green is it's an all indigenous cast. Oh, no way. Okay. Yeah, so that's eight. Which Sweet means points. That, that's a uh, 14 to 14 face off here. Umpire Trilogy, anything else that makes it special? Mm -hmm. Or possibly as to why a cold read isn't particularly as special as people think it is? Let's see, what should I do? Hmm. I am going to let the hit happen. You're both going to lose your projects right now. Yes. Okay. It's done. Which means that grants go back to the government. Cold Read and Umpire Trilogy are gone. And uh, Maddie, it is your strategic planning now. No points were exchanged. But the game right. goes on. to play my strategy card can't stop won't stop so i play an additional turn including all four turn phases from concept phase to strategic planning nice oh. um i believe that's your epic card is that correct yeah that bang. oh this is the epic card okay that's a good card mm. so maddie uh it's your turn again how do you want to, what do you want to do? I, I'm just going to draw my last card. Okay. Uh, Toronto Dance Theater just gets um, another grant, and that's okay. 
And uh, let's see. You gotta get some money first before playing any oh, thing on you. anyone else. So I'm going to roll for why not theater. Uh, and the grand magic powers one to five. You can get a grant. Okay. And I'm going to put down my uh, project C and Power. It's site specific and feminist. Right now, it is worth. Uh, four points in development. Um... And Maddie, can you read out the uh, description for oh, CN Power, please? Thank you. Glass floor, more like glass ceiling. Thank you. This is CN Power. Um... Well written. <laughs> So I'll just have to let it be. Okay. So that is the end of your epics. Can't stop, won't stop. Second turn in a row. Uh, Jenna, it's back to you. Goodness gracious. What is this even? Uh, well, I can't draw anything. So I think we move straight into the application phase here. Woo. Uh, What am I going to do? I'm going to roll for a grant for Workshop West, one to four. Uh, that got a one. Boop. That's a grant. Congratulations. Thank you. And I will also roll for a grant for making Treaty 7, which is one to four. Ooh. That's a three. Which means that Post Canada is open. Is open. Ooh. Uh, and uh, I don't think I'm going to roll for Citadel or Ad Hoc. But I will uh, chuck down a development of Aya for Workshop West. Aya, uh, the speculative tale of the lions that guard Edmonton's Harbin Gate, taking leave to Cromdale and entrusting a group of young heroes as the city's new spiritual protection. Kind of like a superhero mashup there. That's worth two points in development. Okay. Um, and then I would like to re-roll, re-roll, re to reopen mass open mass reading. Whoa. Mass reading. Okay, so what's it going to be? What does it need? Evens or odds? Odds. Okay. Uh, three. Three. Whoa! Turn right. it around. Okay. What do I have? I I know that there is something. Seeing power is four in development, and what is craps? What is craps? Um, it is eight in development. Eight in development. Um, so mass reading is current is worth nine open, and post Canada is worth ten. Is there a boost because of thirty seven or? Yeah, there there is, but that's ten. So it's eight Included. plus two. Eight Great. plus two, six plus three, ten and nine. Okay. Ten and nine. Uh, what are you going to start with? Uh, we're going to start with. Uh, mass reading versus C and power. That is a so nine against four. Four is that right, Maddie? E, uh, C and power. Yes, it's worth four. Okay, so nine to four, five point difference. Jenna, do you want to add anything to your thing? Nope. Okay, so nine to four, Maddie. How are you going to respond? Five points are on the line here. Hmm. card all or nothing your interdisciplinary practice makes you look like you're either the next hotshot who can do it 
all or a completely indecisive artist. Roll to determine impact on the target project. So, if I roll evens, I get plus six. If I roll odds, I lose six points for CM power. Okay. Um, so, let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice. So your current score for CN power is four, is that right? So you're either gonna end up with a 10 or a negative two. Mm -hmm. And I need evens. If it's odds, then I'm SOL. Odds. No, too bad. No, congratulations, Jenna. <laughs> I guess so, you could have targeted it on me too. It so wait, before we take away, before we take away, Jenna has a chance to respond. I won't um, respond. Jenna's not going to respond. Okay, so that means the difference right now is nine. Um, nine points are going to go from Jenna, or sorry, from Maddie to Jenna. Yes. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Jenna is up by one point at the very end of this day. Um, well, actually, it's tomorrow for me now and Maddie. Uh, so, Jenna, you close your show. Uh, yeah. Close mass reading, and you must compete now with Post Canada against what else is on Maddie's table, which is Craft's yeah. Last Vape. So this is I'm starting with a ten against her eight, Maddie. and I will not. That's I'm going to just start with that. Okay, what are you going to do, Maddie? I'm going to respond with Unicorn. What is Unicorn? I found someone who can do it all: stage management, lighting design, projection, sound, and they even write their own contracts. And what does that do? Um, it adds plus two to craft's last vape. So it's worth 10. 10. It's even, but. To 10. So that means, Jenna, you get a chance to respond. These shows are going to cancel each other out if there is nothing to be done. Uh, I, there is nothing to be done. Nothing to be done. Uh, which means that both Post Canada and craft's last vape go to the graveyard. Oh, man. <laughs> All these grants. Goodbye. <sighs> And that is a hit against your companies. Uh, please make sure that you mark that. And it's a very tight match. <laughs> Jenna, this is the end of uh, your turn here. So Unless I'm strategic planning. planning. No, no, yeah, this is what I mean. It's the last phase of your turn. What do you uh, want no, to do? No, I'm, I'm not. A Maddie, Maddie, over to you. <laughs> over to you, Maddie. Um, I can't respond. It's over. Say what? I don't have any more. I don't have any more projects in my hand. Ah. So Jenna, you win. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, projects. If there's nothing else that you can do, and you don't have strategies that you want to play, so. Um, I don't. Think I mean, there... we've said it, what's said is said. So, uh, that is. Well, it, let's if she, if she's got something to play, she can play it. Um. They won't really help me. So no, there's nothing I can play. <laughs> <laughs> there was a roommate. I heard a roommate. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. OK, well, let's just take a pause here and say congratulations on both of you on making uh, this to be quite a incredibly back and forward and uh, wonderful uh, evening. And Jenna, Congratulations on winning this evening's match. Um, Alberta has won three times in a row now. That is three times in a row for Alberta. So you are keeping it in the province. Um, yeah, I mean, thank you. I did not I did not expect to win <laughs> at any point today. Oh man, that was a really good game. It was, it was so a close. really good game. This one really effed me up. <laughs> it's, it's such a double-edged sword, this card. So, uh, so it's... I just want to say congratulations on winning the match, Jenna. Uh, in the spirit of many of Canada's most established arts prizes, we've asked you in advance to select a protege who will receive $250 Canadian of prize money from this match. Uh, and of course, you yourself has, have won $500. Um, so please, at this time, tell us who they are and tell us about uh, why you chose them. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'd like to give the the prize money to uh, the my artistic associate at Chromatic Theater um, in honor of Maddie, keeping it in the Philippinex community. Uh, it's going to go to uh, Cody Rolyan, uh, 
uh, who is a wonderful pal uh, and who is an extraordinary uh, collaborator, human being, uh, brilliant playwright, um, artist, performer, administrator, uh, like he's he's got all the goods. Great. Hey, Tony. Yay. So as is, uh, as at least was the case on all of our, you know, the game shows of our youth, uh, would you be able to give Cody a call and tell them that uh, they have received this auspicious uh, prize? <laughs> yeah, I have to take my, my tabletop view down. Okay, yep. sounds good. Let's do that. Okay, sweet. GG, Jenna. Yeah, G -G. good game. Woohoo. I can hear my roommates are very upset. Oh no. <laughs> can I leave the Zoom call on this? This is what I have to do. It might yes, go off, but don't worry about it. Goodbye. Um, oh, I'm gonna... This is uh, bananas. How does the phone work? Uh, should, I, I guess I should put him on speaker, hey? Yes, please. Let's see if he picks up. Can you hear this? Yes. Oh. Hi, Cody. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. I don't know if you know or remember that I was playing Culture Capital uh, online card game tonight. Oh my God, you're not about to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sweet. So I just uh, uh, won a very, very close match and well played match against Maddie Bautista uh, and named you as my sweet, sweet protege who gets 250 bucks. Yeah. Of sweet art money. Live on, <laughs> am I on speaker live on the internet right now? You are on speaker live on the internet right now. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, I, I'm like speechless. <laughs> okay. Congratulations on the win. Uh, if, yeah, congratulations on some sweet money for your new place. Oh my God. Thank you. Um. Do, uh, I'm gonna unplug my headphones. People on the internet wanna say anything to Cody. People, people on the internet being us. Hey, it's Milton. Congratulations, Cody. Hey, Cody, it's Maddie. Congrats. Hey, Maddie. Are you moving to a new place? Sorry? Are you moving to a new place? I am moving to a new place. I move like next week. Oh, dang, good luck. Thank you. Oh, Jenna, this is so sweet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you and all that you do. I appreciate you. Oh, my <laughs> God. Um, is there anything else you want us to do on this phone call while we're all hanging out here? Um, this was like, you can't see that I'm also talking to the internet. Well, everyone is smiling. I take that as a good thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, Milton and Patrick will explain to me how I get this sweet art money into your hands, but it'll happen. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, bye, Cody. Bye. Bye, <laughs> bye Maddie. Thank Jenna, you thank so you so much yeah. for making that phone call. Um, Patrick, maybe we can ask our players to uh, give us a little plug on what they're doing right now. Yeah, this has uh, become tradition now, but uh, I know that all of us are doing different things at these times in different ways than maybe we'd anticipated. Um, would you, uh, do either of you have things going on that you want to just be able to share with the World Wide Web about what you're, what's coming up or what's working on or what's new? Uh, this is a chance to plug anything that you're working on that you uh, so wish to. Totally. Um, so right now I'm working with on Theater Direct's production of Eraser, A New Normal. And um, it is a virtual TYA show and we are screening it this week really soon. So you could check it out on Theater Direct's website if you want to know more about it. That's great. Awesome. 
Uh, maybe we can get that and we can share it into the chat of this thing that we're doing right now. Um, cool. And Jenna, what are you up to? Sweet. Uh, uh, I, uh, currently, I was the dramaturg and like ensemble creator of a show called All That Binds Us in Edmonton, which is currently running at Azimuth. So this is the one that Sheldon Elter is performing in. Uh, that is playing live on the internet until October 3rd. So you're welcome to check that out. And for, uh, I guess this is recorded, so I shouldn't put like the free promo code in the uh, in the in the thing. But if you if you want to see it for free, shoot me a message on Facebook. I'm very easy to get a hold of um, and tagged all over this thing, and I will give you a code to see it for free. Uh, and. Uh, I, Chromatic is also working on a CBC digital original, which is going to be released in October. We're um, recording a Chris Vanessa Tio's play, Ming Shi Zhang Ting Un, or Gimme Chance Lay, about growing up in between Singapore and Canada. Hey, cool. very cool. Um, mm -hmm. This project that you're a part of right now is actually a Canada Council digital original. So uh, that is a great opportunity for us to segue to our list of people that we should just say thank you to, which include the British Columbia Arts Council, the Canada Council for the Arts, uh, Boca de Lupo for the initial residency that provided culture capital the starting point, the Edmonton Arts Council, Grace Law, Asima Theater, who Jenna, you've been hanging out with, and the Chinook series in Edmonton, where we got to premiere our very first tournament, uh, the Darling Foundry in Montreal, the High Performance Rodeo in Laurel Green in Calgary, and Summer Works in Toronto, and our dear, dear friends who are making all of this streaming possible uh, our American friends at HowlRound. So thank you very much. Uh, of course, we also have another upcoming match on October 27th. Uh, it's a face-off between Ontario versus BC. Uh, that's going to feature Danny Fecco and Luke Reese. Um, and finally, you can follow the project on Instagram, Facebook, and at culturecapital.cards. Uh, unless there's anything else we'd like to say, I just want to say thank you again to our players, uh, Maddie and Jenna. That was a fantastic match, super close, and you're both so awesome for doing this with us. Um, and on that, have a good night, everyone. We'll leave the stream running for uh, a few more minutes, and uh, we'll likely see you in the chat if you're hanging around. Otherwise, we'll see you in a month for the next match. Thank that you. That was so fun. Yeah, super fun. Good games. Thank you. Thank good you. Night. Have a good night. Good night.